Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Thank you for coming to join us. Uh, the debate is June the 3rd, and uh, welcome to the parish council meetings. Uh, item number one is to receive any apologies for absence and declarations of interest. Do you have any? I'm on holiday and Peter's on holiday. Okay, that's just two of them. We're actually seven. Any declarations of interest? If you suddenly stumble upon something, then you just announce it before you say too much. Please. Thank you. Okay, uh, item number one. Absence of declarations of interest. Um, comments and observations from members of the public. Do we need to close the meeting? Do you have any comments or observations? Yes, please. Okay. Um, when I was pressing the issue about helping with the pavilion, yes. understandably the answer was health and safety issue, but now you want supporters, people to help you with the benches and the play park, and you mm. want volunteers. Is that yes. a health and safety issue as well? Because it looks like selective hypocrisy. Sorry, but it doesn't look good. Okay. That's it. Okay. Anybody else want to say? No? Okay. So, I'll be getting to that item. I've um, got benches there for a moment. So. <coughs> okay. Um, so, item number. Uh, we'll go for, for, for close the meeting again. Okay. Close session. Um, so, if I just use the, uh, the shorter version, so item number uh, 25 is to approve the minutes of the uh, annual. Parish Council meeting, which we had in June, June 13th, or May 13th, sorry, May 13th, yes, in the, in the Mrs. Church. Uh, have you all seen those? Are you happy with them? Yes. Okay, can I propose that we sign those? Come second? Sharon seconding? All those in favour? Anybody who wasn't here? Good goodness. Okay, thank you. Um, and the other one is the Finance Committee. Now the Finance Committee met in the same building, uh, just the three of us, um, and the minutes are there, so it's only myself and Sharon uh, and Sarah, and Kira who's involved on that, but you have seen those minutes. Yes. Happy that's what we discussed? Yes. Okay, I suppose that those get signed as well. Yes. Okay. What's the name of Fine. Whoever you've played first. That's fine to me, Everett. Fantastic, fine, thank you. Good, okay then. Item number 26 is the audit. Uh, you've received um, pages of the uh, internal audit, the, the summary, um, and the external audit, uh, the, the six pages. Um, are we happy? Do we need to, is this just for information really? We need to approve each one separately. So we've okay. received the report from. Um, yeah, it's from, yeah, okay. Carrie first. Okay. Which would be the internal audit. Internal audit. Yeah. Do you need to actually go through the explanation very? That's not separate. No, it's not. It's part of the external audit. Yeah. But the internal audit has uh, come up with um, bits and pieces. There's a, kind of a check stub that hasn't been double signed. There's a payment to uh, somebody that needs to have a um, an invoice. Another payment needs an invoice. So there's three small things that need to be addressed. Oh, which has now been addressed apparently, um, and you've also got the um, reasons for the variance. We've, uh, we do have a lot of money apparently in our account, but it's all been allocated to various projects, so there's a separate piece of paper or document. That's what we discussed at the annual yeah. So you've, you've had that, but that just explains why the, the figures look a little high, which will go on to be given to the external user. So do I just need to prove that? So yeah, we need, we need okay. references for all of those. Okay. Kind of all right, okay. So if you're happy to um, that the internal auditor report is good, uh, I propose that we, uh, we just sign or just send them all? Send them all, don't we? Just propose that we receive as a council. Okay. I propose that we receive as a council. Can I have a second of that one, please? A second of that. Yeah, okay. A little bit later. Okay, that's good. Anything else? Thank you very much. Um, to approve the annual government statement for the financial year. Which one was that? Page three. Because you, the external audit came in in six pages. Yeah, sorry. And they're all. 
just mark, just page it's one, page two, three. Four, yeah, so I'm page four. Thank you. Thank you. So, you have to be yeah. able to say yes to all of those. Okay. Or explain why you can say yes to them. Okay. And to my knowledge, are we okay on those? I'm cheating a bit. Okay. We have put. Can we go through more? Yeah. Okay. So number one, we have put in place arrangements for effective financial management during the year and for the preparation of the accounting statements. Can we say yes to that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, we maintained an <coughs> adequate system of internal control, including measure design to prevent and detect fraud and corruption, and reviewed its effectiveness. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, number three, we took all reasonable steps to assure ourselves that there are no matters of actual or potential non compliance with laws, regulations, and proper practices that could have significant financial effect or the ability of this authority to conduct its business or manage its finances. That was in. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Item four, we provided proper opportunity during the year for the exercise of lecture rights in accordance with the requirements of the accounts and audit regulations. Item number five, we carried out an assessment of the risks facing the authority and took appropriate steps to manage those risks include the introduction of internal controls and or external insurance cover when they're required. Item number seven, we took appropriate actions of all matters raised in reports from internal and external audit. Item number eight, we considered whether any legislation, litigations or litigation, liabilities or commitments, events or transactions occurring either during or after the year end have a financial implication on this authority and were appropriate and included them in the account team statements. Do you stop me? Oh, a number nine doesn't apply. <laughs> so if you're all happy that that's <coughs> what we do, yes. uh, I propose that I can sign those later and I get a hard copy. Um, okay, that's good. Can I have a second to that, please? Sharon's happy. Always in favour? Okay, thank you. So that's item number 26.2. Um, 26.3, can you guide me as well? Which one? Page three. Page three? There is one of numbers. Page five. Page five, that's fine. Uh, thank you. Page five's got numbers on it. <laughs> so, big numbers. Okay, so better go forward. Uh, Balance brought forward is uh, 43,502. These are figures. Okay. I'll get the page. Okay. So for this year, balance brought forward 46,811. Uh, preset all rates and levies was the 28,090 uh, £28, pounds, which we are aware of. Total other receipts is 1,004. Yeah, that is four. 1, 000, so it's 14,000, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 14,615. Staff costs, 5,796. It's down on last year. Because we didn't have a clerk for two months. Um, loans, zero. All of the payments came to 18,857. Balances carried forward was 64,864. And total value of the cash and short-term investments is the same figure. Total fixed assets plus long-term investments and assets is 23,000. <coughs> <coughs> yes, because that allows for all our buildings and things. The biggest one of that would be the pavilion we'll do. Okay. Uh, again, presumably the item level is not the local councils only? Yeah, it doesn't. Because you have their trust funds? Yeah. Okay. So if you're happy that those figures are what you've seen before and you're happy that they can be sent through, I suppose that I sign those later. Can I have a second that they sign? Give it a sign that's a second in All in favour? Any questions? No, nope. all in favour, thank you. Okay, that's item 26.3. Uh, 26.4. Oh, is that on the page? 26.4. So you're just adopting the annual accounts? Um, Which you've seen, yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so we adopt the health care statement, which is what you've seen. Are you happy to adopt it? Just that previous document. I presume so, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 The, 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 the accounts have sent to the previous things. Okay. So are we happy to adopt that? I propose that. I'll second that. Do you want to say yes? All in favour? Sarah? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Right. All in favour? Thank you. Right. Right, we play 6.5 is to adopt the annual accounts. Again, presumably figures that we've seen. Is that going to create? Okay. So if you're happy that we dock those, then I will propose that I sign them off. Agree to it. Can I second it? Oh, that's Sarah was up there. Okay. Speaker. All those in favour? I'm happy to go along there. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, right. Item number 27. Finance Committee report to receive and approve the revised budget. So, appendix one is supporting data. Um, appendix one. So, we have supporting data. Appendix so one or appendix A? Appendix one. So, we've got a little bit of this. Yeah. So supporting docs. It's the second page with loads of figures on it. Uh, appendix two is something else. So it's just a single page. So um, to receive and approve the revised budget. So this is the budget where we allow for everything during the year, what we're expecting to spend, what we may spend, um, and the total total income we're expecting is. Uh, well, 35,547, and the expenditures that we're budgeting for are slightly more at 38,442. So if you're happy to cast your eyes through what's on there, everything that we've, we plan for is on there. Pavilion, lighting, orbit, training, a bunch of figures, salaries. Yeah? Okay. okay. Well, I propose that we're happy to accept that for the budget. Another second so happy. Just, this is the, what we're saying budgeting for the upcoming year. Yes. It's yes. This, 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 this is this is this is our plan. <laughs> you know, obviously, budgets tend to vary a bit, but that's what we start off at. Okay. So if donations come in, yes, it's going to go down some of it mm. because. Because we want the whole 53 units, so we're not sure if it's. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I propose we adopt that. Can I have a second for that? Okay. Kieran's second unit. All those in favour? Well, I'm just. Um, like some of the amounts on here. Uh, uh, has there been a. Is there a. Like, the only reason I'm thinking is because we were looking at the. The one that springs up to the playground maintenance, we were looking at what what we would need to do for playground maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's been costed in a certain way or if that's just uh, uh, just a, a figure that is assumed will be enough to cover it. Because I don't know if you looked, if Sarah, you had any figures from compound amount of things or anything. What we've done is we've basically said um, that Kieran um, understood that within the green open spaces, uh, uh, ours. Yes, hours, yeah, yeah. There will be enough hours there to keep the playground neat and tidy. Please. So, for this transitional period, because we can't identify at this point the maintenance mm -hmm. level, that we will just borrow from those hours to make sure it keeps tidy. Obviously, that doesn't include equipment, that's just the. Uh, that's what I was wondering about because I know you, the company said to you about what, what is, the requirements are for maintenance on an ongoing basis, like an annual inspection or those, I don't know what Correct. those costs are. And this is where we, we've said that there's a playground maintenance reserve contribution, which obviously uh, there will be a small amount of that that will pay for the 70 odd pounds per annum that we need to check the equipment so with a professional good. person, but also um, the majority of hopefully that 500 will be the ongoing merchandise, but also to replace the playground in 18 years' time. Is that? And also, yeah, everything is broken, so yeah. Yeah. put the money aside 
So you've got it there to your hair. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, really, because you know, we've talked about the last meeting about certain things not been maintained long ago, basically, necessarily. So, um, yeah, just checking out. So we had a second. All in favour? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so twenty-seven point two. Discuss and resolve upon the motion to change bank accounts to Unity Trust Bank. Now, at the moment, we are currently with Barclays, and that does have certain <coughs> issues. Um, and Nick has been on various training courses and recommendation. Is to change to Unity Bank, which is what most parish councils use. Um, so that's all of Appendix 2. Um, I don't know whether it's unfair to put you on the spot as to what advantages you get. The main advantage is online banking, so we actually do back statements. So it's set up so that you have, uh, I will have a view and submit login so I can go and view the bank account, I can set the payments up. And then the council, you know, we still need two councillors to log in and actually authorise those payments after the meeting in the same way as we currently have me writing the cheques and two councillors signing it. But it allows us to make online payments and obviously have online banking to view bank accounts. Uh, can we not do that with Barclays? We can't do online payments with Barclays because they haven't got the multi layered uh, authorisation. So you can't have two separate people go on and authorise in the same way. Because at the moment that's free, is it? So this Unity Bank would be six pound a month in charge. I think one of the issues is that we don't, we wouldn't then pay for postage because quite often cheques are sent out, aren't they? Is that also our deposit account being there with Unity? They do do a savings account. But that's not the actual request for us, is it? This is. Is it, is it both bank accounts? Uh, I've put bank accounts on You have, them, yes. But uh, if you wanted to change one and leave the other, that's possible. Is it the same price for both? Is it six pound is up for it an account? Then where would you have to pay six pound per account? I don't know to be honest. And I wonder whether they give the interest on a savings account. I gave you the information yeah. on that for the savings account. I couldn't really, it does say um, 0.4, but it's not much. No, no. It's not Do we get interest on our savings at the moment? I don't know what the rate is that we're currently getting from Barclays. We had about 75 pounds last year in interest. Don't get many cancelled goods. No, don't. It's a moment. So there you go, the, on the support jobs, the savings account's free. There's no fee. Oh, okay. You still need checks. Would you get a check? Would you still have the ability to write checks with this or is that have gone and um, the zero on the four checks or if you have to be online payment? I don't think there's well. It does say check you could have checked upon request. Yeah, on request. So they're they're going off the how many businesses these days don't take on their banking and federal checks? Well, some of But it's individual but you might you might get a small handyman or something for those casual checks, but I was just thinking some of you know, some people don't like online banking, do they? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if you, if you, you know, if we're paying contractors, then they'll have online banking. But I think the only thing that's you can get a checkbook, so I think you can be able to get a checkbook. And you can pay in checks as well, in that where Star would be as well. So yeah, the post office. Mm -hmm. Cash only yeah. address, is it? Yeah. So, when would we be signing up for a certain length of time? Or can we get it all? doesn't work out for us. The fee is charged quarterly, so I would take that to be. If you're paying quarterly, it could be a quarterly. Yeah, so I'll do it. So I don't have that information. Okay. This was the sort of general feeling. We, I think it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're having trouble at the moment. Or Nicola can't get access, third party access to a Barclays account because they're being so. I didn't even realise we did have online currently. Yeah, I thought we did. Mm. Yeah, so we can't, we can't see so, what's. So, did have a. She could view the bank account online, but she couldn't make online account. Mm. And I would say, I've now got them coming back to me and say, oh, they need to basically start again from scratch because they're not mm. up through the form, all my ID. All the signatures that all the signatures one of us put in. Yeah. 
So luckily we didn't have to pass on the job. Yes. Yeah. So Joe was having to pass on the bank statements, which is very funny. So mm -hmm. we do need to yeah. wrap it up really. Well, they do a switch service, don't they? Yeah. I've just never heard of Unity Bank. So I haven't. No, I haven't heard of it. But so I would recommend I could have a letter through the council staff that use it. Oh, yeah. Well, um, so bearing that in mind, are we happy to go for a full suite, or do we want to maintain our mm -hmm. deposit account? Please mark this. Yeah. I think it's there's no extra charge. No, it's it free, isn't it? So. Better to have it all in one. Yeah, and then yeah otherwise you lose it. Yes, and they might treat it with extra because we've got some money. It's definitely, what does it say? Page 5. Side five, it's got C and then it says free. So that will be 27.2. I'm so I propose that we change that in accordance with what we've seen in front of us and the to, to Unity Bank. Uh, oh, you're a second again. All those in favour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for looking into that. Okay. Right, so moving on to item number 28, to review the appointment of committees and working groups. Now, we, we raised that before, uh, and then we realised that there were quite a few um, working groups and committees that seemed to overlap, and we, sort of, <coughs> we started off with some that is some, and then we found there's duplication. So there is a revised Appendix A that came out Ooh, quite recently, and um, I don't know whether you've had a chance to look at it, but it's it's summarised. So we have we have less groups, yeah. but hopefully we still cover the same bits and pieces that we used to. Um, I don't know whether we need to sort of go through yet the people, but. Um, so with regards to the traffic group, I know that Anne sent an invite out for our first trying to get first meeting organised and mm -hmm. um, two of the non parishioners <coughs> I don't know if the other third one, but two of them on here declined, so I don't know if they declined completely to be involved or they... they oh, involved. okay. So, um... Well, I mean, as, as a working group, <coughs> I would have thought that you're entitled to invite who you like, to just sort of what umbrella you need. Okay. Um, because you are a working group that would, sort of the track there, working groups sit and chat and then they come back with a recommendation, so however you need to sort of cover that remit. Um, I don't know, that's a problem with that. But I presume we should have a... Nine to nine? Okay. Well, Finance Committee we've done. Uh, we had a meeting uh, recently. Uh, are the six of you all happy to still be on it? Is it six or is it five? Five. five. So that was uh, Peter, myself, Ian, mm -hmm. Kieran, and Sarah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you happy to see how it goes? I mean, obviously, if the problems occur, we can, we can change, but you just start off with you. <coughs> um, the planning committee is myself, Peter, Kieran, <coughs> Anne, Rob, and Sharon. Uh, are we all happy to continue that way? I, I um, pointed out that I'd like to not be chair, so I would suggest that we have a, at the next meeting, uh, the planning committee can, item number one, can be collected chair, which is probably a good way of doing that. Traffic working group, um, that's the amalgamation, so it's yourself, Peter, Kieran, Anne, Richard Norton, Patrick Landushi, and Mark Stanton. So three of those are from um, A14. So, and so Richard actually, and Mark have declined. Okay, right. Um, and of course, your name's on it, is it? I'm not on there. Which And we did invite um, Ken. Yes. Um, I believe Andy had expressed an interest in mm -hmm. part of that group. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't know whether we would, it would be worth inviting the person that said they were going to liaise, coordinate speed watch as part of that yeah. group. That means, yeah. Um, so I was hoping should... to arrange a first meeting next week and back on Thursday, so I was trying okay. to get a meeting on Monday because I know Ken said. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's moving that group? Mm -hmm. Anne had been um, trying to convene. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I had Anne to that. She's on now with Okay. <coughs> <coughs> yes. <coughs> I need to add Laura. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we talked previously about only 
having three councils on there, but I don't know if you want to say one that's just being aware of it. It makes it too big a group on the agenda. Okay. So it needs to be big enough and um yeah, yeah okay. So green open spaces. <coughs> uh, that's Kieran, Peter, Sarah, Ian, Laura and Willie Wilson. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nods, good, good. Now the easement and working group uh, meets on occasions. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The oh, the, the easement working group, yes, it meets, it meets <laughs> locally. The working group. The Paris meeting, yes. Mm. Okay, so that's Peter, and Ian, Sarah, and Julian Thomas. Again, we haven't had any sort of comments that they don't want to be around, around do we? So I think Peter wants to stay on all of these committees. Well, we can, we can mention these committees around. I, mean, I think we need to sort of start off with the end one. Yeah, okay. Um, so keep his, keep his handy. He's on quite a few of them. I hope it's Peter rather than Chair. Chair. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they may need adjusting, but it's important that we have something to start off with. <coughs> and then we have the Policy Advisory Group. This is Peter, mm -hmm. Kieran and Anne. So I believe you met Peter, didn't we? about to meet. Need to meet. Okay, so that's, let's get that as it is. Hilton Common Joint Consultative Working Group, Peter, Sharon and Ian, meets as and when. Media Working Group, you met recently I'm sure because there's something coming up yeah. later on. So you, did you get on alright? Yeah. Peter, Kieran, Sharon and Rob, no fighting? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, very productive. Good. Right. Yes, there's a lot right. of... Good, okay. Uh, Village Pavilion Working Group, Peter, Kieran, Self, Sarah, Sharon and... And the Salem and Sharon's a convener. Mm -hmm. I believe as we've gone so far, we need to yeah. um, continue. Yeah. Now, I got this one wrong. The, um, the human resources should be staffing. the staffing committee. And this is a new one because we need to have a, a body working group that looks after our staff. <laughs> <laughs> so, three, three, three one person. Um, is it three, presumably? It be three. Yeah. Does anybody wish to be? Hmm? The court. The court, yes. No one wants to be on the um, whatever it was. Staff 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 committee. Is it a committee or staff committee? Staff 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 the staffing committee, as a, as a committee, has to meet in public through those, through those the agenda and minutes and yeah. Yeah. But because you're discussing staff issues, most of it will be done under a notice exclusion. Oh, right. And it's, it's confidential. Yeah. But it has to be public. I don't think you'll get a swarm of people from <laughs> Um, presumably, we'll need to discuss the handyman as well. That's the well, well that's I was just thinking there's obviously yeah. so you know, Bernie and, yeah. Yeah. and then. Does John come under that? No, he does not Would I make that sort of stuff? Hmm? I don't mean maybe it's stuff, would I? Bernie is. Is he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, those, basically the staff committee, the staff committee would have to look after that. I'm looking around, anybody wish to be on it? I don't think you meet in Austin, but we need to meet in Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 or any, any, any issues yeah. that come up during the year that have to be discussed in a sensitive nature. So, Sharon and Rob. Anything else? Doesn't sound like an owner's job. Okay. Don't put me down as well, please. So, that's Sharon, Rob, and myself. Okay. Now, we've got a couple of question mark by playground group. Okay. Yeah. 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 So is it worth recording that? I suppose it should really. Yeah, so we just. Thank you. 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 Thank
bodies, uh, that aren't actually working groups, but for these important jobs. So there's Tree Warden, um, there's a parish path partnerships, which we used to deal with as county council. I put that in italics to see whether that still goes ahead, but we perhaps need to check with the inmates or CCCC whether the partnership's still going. I suspect with the cutbacks, it's not actually functioning, so that's one thing. And then we list um, Hill National Traffic, St. Ives Road Safety Committee. We haven't got a member of that, so whether we put that in, I don't know. Uh, Village Hall Committee, HCV Committee, Emergency Officers, Neighbourhood Watch, and the Town Trust. So they're the other ones that we're getting involved with. So we don't need to prove that, do we? All all. But just to go through what we've got so far. Okay. So we'll have you that. Uh, item number 2029. 20, now this was the, the bit we got through at, at short notice where they are, they have some spare money. Um, the A14 Legacy Fund. Uh, so they're very keen to allocate money to the villages most affected by the A14, the new A14. So at the last meeting, we didn't have much to discuss because it came in at short notice. We do now need to get something in probably tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, appendix four. Okay. That's the only one that lists after You did. What would that be under? It's called A14 Exit Number. Are you the. I think there were other bits and pieces, weren't there? Was it more appendix two documents? Well, appendix, appendix four is the general information, is the general information yes. which, which is how it all works and how we would need to submit it. But on top of that, we had a list of ideas <coughs> that could yes. be discussed. So I did bear with you. More supporting documents. <coughs> Yeah, you see, A14 Legacy Fund Ideas. So have you all got that? Because that mm -hmm. came in. Good. Well done. So there's quite a few there. What we have to do is think of the, the three most important that we want to put forward uh, in order of sort of... We have better do it in priority. In priority. And the suggestion is in value as well. And it's a question of how many parishioners it's going to benefit. Percentage of the parishioners at the time. Yeah. Where did this list come from? Yeah. We can uh, sort that out. Well, I did, oh, we did, did ask in the last council meeting the councillors to come okay. up no, with sorry. ideas. Um, but it's, yeah. So we could add to this. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it's, one, I don't know if there's any cost implications or something completely aligned, but the, we do talk about um, the TRO extension for a complete ban. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something that we need to apply for funding to apply for because I know it wasn't involved in that process previously or we wouldn't we wouldn't know or, the fine. Or around that the work may be needed to support it like the, any equipment needed to monitor According noise and to this document that I emailed out it's somewhere between two and a half and five thousand pounds depending on the number of signs required. There's no actual fee for the like the application as such. It's just. It doesn't say this is not a very detailed document. I didn't get any response from my eyes. So, if we just go through what we just came up with, uh, mini roundabout at crossroads, cost was thirty-five thousand. Mini roundabout junction church end, thirty-five thousand. Zebra crossing at paddocks, fifteen to twenty-five. Restricted right of way traffic calming. 10,000, speed bumps, 17,000, resurfaced village hall car park, 2,000, feasibility study for a Hilton bypass, 10,000, community orchard, um, and clear and repair bank of pond in Rosie Way, possibly adding in a footpath. So the point really is that there's a lot of money that is being allocated, and we do need to come up, because it's a bit rushed, but we do have to put our thinking caps on there. I think we we visited speed bumps before, mm -hmm. and they are when, slightly when they were put in down mm -hmm. Bravely Way, mm -hmm. and I, I I just think um, speed, speed bumps is probably not going to be helpful with traffic management, is it? The, the, the problem with speed bumps is they're good. 
causing people to slow down, but they're actually very noisy because cars yeah. break and accelerate where they generate noise. So, so I don't think speed bumps are an option, really. The same as that restricted rights of way cars yeah. go weaving in and out. I don't think it's, okay. it's going to be so dangerous. I think it's going to add to the noise and possible yeah. noise now, basically. Are you going to, uh, do you think mini roundabouts would do the same situation? I, I, I worry about how many, how, how many roundabouts will be safe on the, the crossroads, because you can't see, so we, it would just... We did have a meeting with highways on this, That's and they thinking. advised that there would be some downside for these mini roundabouts. Firstly, they will have to be lit permanently. There has to be lots of signs. We need a lot of space. Mm -hmm. um, so if you imagine the crossroads, which has been, it seems quite logical, put a mini roundabout in there, everybody slows down and it solves that problem with that blind just turn. Yeah. But actually the amount of space it takes and all the lighting is going to cause a lot of consternation to a lot of people. That's where you get more there. accidents, because if you were coming from Gravely Way and going straight across, cars from coming from around the bend yeah. unless they see you and stop. Yeah. Yeah. People don't need to be like right their own way. Yeah, uh, depends, unless you're coming up the Gravely Way. Actually, that would be worse, wouldn't it? Because you come out of Gravely Way, assuming you're sort of right away. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, that's what I mean, so someone coming through a pot and yeah. road from St. Ives. Mm -hmm. It'll be their responsibility yeah. to stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, there's quite a lot of accidents at the Mini Roundabout and Penn Stanton, and that's on a straight bit of road, and just... <laughs> Maybe we could look at just improving that junction somehow. I think that's point they have very limited options and highways, yeah, just good luck with them. I think it's over crossing at Pallet's line, it's almost like function, I think it stops everybody as they're going through the village. Well, if we can... Well, I have to say, the current signal crossing... You mean a push button, so you've got a red light that comes up. I don't think I'd like a lorry hacking down that hill. The current signal crossing is terrible for cars not stopping. I've had parishioners come to me and say they frequently sit there with children waiting to cross and cars don't stop. The lines aren't very well painted, and it's not very visible, I don't think, but people don't stop often. Okay, that's interesting. I've also been interested, that's a good point. Okay. Right, okay then. So, mini roundabouts. I'm not saying that we shouldn't do it, that's that, but I just think I'll just say more at like 60 to 90. Having. Half in or two minutes. Okay. Half in or two. Okay, so they've moved on. So, we're talking of 60,000 there. Um, not 15 to 20. So, months. if we take off both mini roundabouts. <coughs> I don't think a mini roundabout at a church anymore. It's slow traffic down. Because it's already that chicane as far as you can to the village. I'm striking them off as we go through. We need left of one at the end, aren't we? Yeah, okay. So, resurface village hall. This is what we did, uh, that's right, the village hall car park. This is what we did five years ago? No. Four? Four years ago. Yeah, sometime, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things that the more often you do it, the less of a problem it is. So we've estimated 2,000 for that. Though, it? That was a special deal last time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see, right. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you know, if someone's in the area with a digger, it might not cost as much, but um, if it's being done through a third party, you would have to say, please resurface our village hall, and they would obviously have a visual car park, um, and they would do it when they were passing. Um, there's then the repair of the bank in Gravely Way which would be something that has been around for a little while because we did a temporary fix with the wooden stakes. Um, the pond itself is in need of tension reasons. It's a bit, bit yeah. Yeah. So whether we could put in uh, a decent decent bit of that one? I think it would be, be good to add a footpath, a mm. proper footpath, because even on the other side, there's not really a proper it stops. footpath. Mm. Um, it's just a small gravel mm. path in front of from mm. a point of view of water, would it matter if it was reduced? No. If we went into the pond, it wouldn't no, matter. Not at all. Well, I mean, the volume of water. There's been discussion of it being on the other side, right? Because that's the bank that's collapsed. So we're going to build that out, and then we plant it. Other side? Yeah. So the nose road side. No, I'm talking about. Great way. Great way. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the one that we because we were talking about changing that a long time ago, shoring it up. But actually, 
that's a good one to park. Isn't yeah, it? that's what I thought you were doing. Because we, we discussed a while ago about the fact that there's yeah. some work needed doing on that. So I think that should be good. Well, it could, but 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 it could it apply for both ponds, could it be? It could do, but I'm just wondering so which one, one would say more. Way there. Because it's, it's more road based. The, the trees down there we know need some work as well. We know they're owned by county council, is that what? It's just trees. The other side of the pond, all the way along down, greatly work. Yes. And we know some elms are pretty tired and yeah. others, you know. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it's worth, if we were doing some work on this, would you expand it to. Yeah, I mean, all the banks have been over yeah. the years, um, so yeah, it's a good thing to do. Mm. You can tie that whole street up if you have fun when you do it. Mm. Okay. Um, so I think that's going to have to go in, shoot it down. Um, and the other one was the feed loop and stuff for a bit of bypass. I mean, it has been mentioned at meetings before about wouldn't it be nice to have a bypass. The point of this is just a feasibility study to find out how much it would cost. I mean, we obviously have got one in motion at the moment for the NMUs. Uh, whether that would be of interest to finally sort of say yes or no, it's a go or it's not a go over 10 years' time or 20 years' time? Or Has anything like that been done? No. It's a case of getting mentioned. Nothing with the A14 project was nothing. No. Nothing no. no. It was quite a long time ago when the local farmer offered the land. Mm. If we support the mission of the building, was it this all before our time? Well, not mm. before. Yeah, mm. correct. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What about our feasibility study for an NM, NMU that way? Because we're only yeah. looking at. That's true. Well, I mean, I think, yeah. That way at the moment, aren't we? Mm. I mean, the point of going that way was that you could pick up the guided bus. I think that was the whole mm. point of doing that. And we also knew that Penn Stamson were doing the NMU. Oh, okay. But I mean, you go to Pat West because that's got a shop. Mm -hmm. It'd be more sort of leisure based, Shop wouldn't it? That road is so dangerous it would be quite a true actually, path yeah. For, yeah. Yes. for you know, cyclists and you know, there's yes. a lot of cyclists now. And yes. so actually it's not just leisure, is it? It's actually commuting, so it's commuting, mm. so people do cycle mm. to work, don't they? Mm. Um, Okay. Um, and the other one that I put down here was the community orchard, which wouldn't cost them much, but it's a way of trying to get hold of the, the <coughs> leaving little triangles around. I don't know if you've been to the A14 lot, yeah. there's lots of triangles of earth that haven't got, probably haven't got an owner. Mm -hmm. I was wondering whether we could grab those and make sure that they were used for coppicing or orchard oh, or something. I was going to suggest something about like, um, I'm completely listening to Hold You're not helping us. <laughs> <laughs> um, like gardening, what's it called when you've got a lot of them? Yeah. But after. Um, oh yeah. my god, my brain's gone. Oh. Phil said at the annual meeting that there were yes. still places on the current yes. lot and said yes. that maybe there's no demand for it. So. Um, well. I don't know. Oh, wait, but whether just grabbing the land would be nice at least because then we'll do something with it. You can just sort of have some specimen trees and things. Like. What about the, um, I know it's, it's later on the agenda, but what about the older children's play area and uh, um, funding the an adult gym type thing? Because that, you know, that would be. But I think one of your problems is how many of the community, how much percentage community would, uh, would benefit from it? Quite a large the apple gin would be a large portion there, I think, of mm -hmm. the children thing, but we just made a generic version of the apple gin thing. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of teenagers in the village who, you know, quite frankly, don't have anything else to do. I don't think they use an apple gin. No, it's just a Well, they might sit in it. <laughs> but they might sit in it, they might, you know, use it. And there's a, quite a lot of, you know, adults who would use it. Um, okay, so I'm getting a, a feeling that maybe the repair of the bank in Gravy Way is a popular one. Okay, and can we link it to Reef's Dish as well? Is it, yeah, could it be yeah, just repair of banks? Could require similar sort of materials. Is it on roadside? Because you've got that at the far side. Mm -hmm. We could make it the roadside, could we? 
Mm. Okay, but it has to be communicated. Right? You have to be able to demonstrate So you went for your woodland walk? Yes. Which would be good. Which well, really, stitch then comes on from the new playground. Yes. Because we're talking yeah. about yeah. the yeah. park yeah. behind the yeah. stitch okay. to give children nice places to walk. Okay. Uh, so that would be the two. Or would you, would you class well, as one? Well, I would do it as one. Because it's the same thing. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking it, it's a big bill, and if they say no to it, we've lost them both. They have to put in three. Mm -hmm. So if they have them separate, you might get one. You might get both, but I just yeah, but worry about a hundred thousand. There's other things that we could. Is it for a hundred thousand? No, it's, but it's, it's big. It's potentially. Mm -hmm. I, think, mm -hmm. I think some sort of feasibility study of trying to see whether, and I think this comes down to the speed, what one of them. Is some sort of feasibility study about the fact that trying to keep a 40 mile an hour on the bottom road coming into our village could, and that would benefit a very large proportion of the village instead of it or instead of it going back up to 60, is it? Mm -hmm. Then coming down to 30 as it hits. Mm -hmm. Now, if we get a feasibility study done on that, which will cost money to show the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that would bring in um, the problem of uh, crossing at the paddocks because if you've got cars coming in at. Okay, it's you still 40. Sorry? Do you think cars currently travel 40 on that bit now? There's the odd one. But the speed limit is 40 at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but unless you have something that's going to enforce that, it's yeah. kind of a waste of money. So, how about. Well, I've asked my worry with the feasibility study. Okay, it was an idea of trying to see if we can get something yeah. more than yeah. just what's been watched in, which is brilliant. I think we need to. I definitely think there needs to be something in there that's traffic road related, but I just can't. None of these options seem to be. I'm right. So the people are not stopping for the crossings, so would that not be a good one? Would they have a problem with crossing? Yeah, they come over to the What a... With traffic that way? Yes, yeah, yeah. traffic. That might be better. I would worry about having a zebra crossing or any sort of crossing near the paddocks because traffic coming through the village, it wouldn't see. And, and if traffic was stopped um, mm -hmm. and people came through the village, because that's such a tight bend, you wouldn't be able to see that the traffic around the corner stopped. Um, okay. Graham, may I say something? No, I'm being close. Sorry. Sorry, okay. um, So, no, we could, I think we go to the two, I mean, if we don't, if we get the money, we don't have to actually, actually put it in if we find that the Christians don't like the idea of lights. It's a thought. And that's sort of general. If we are if we are getting problems with the, the pedestrian crossing, so we're aware of it, we wait safely enough. Could we put it as vague as um, we would like a chukun within village. our village as pedestrian crossing the pelican is not working? Um, yes. And we will take guidance from. CCC or where to position it. Yeah, because I, it would be nice if I would really agree with you is to have it where the paddocks is because that would slow stuff coming down. That's why I said like, it just could be too good. I think it's not a bad place. But it's just, it's not <laughs> But the problem is the houses that are there are going to have red, green, yellow. And the street lights are going to have street lights. They've got lights like now. They're on, they're on the, mm. the beacons are on street lights. They've got those protectors. Mm. Mm. And traffic lights would be the same. Yeah, they've got lenses. Yeah. It may well slow the traffic down, you know, coming through the village too. But it certainly is the problem. Yeah. I, I think, I think to, go for, for, to, to ask for the money and then get advice of where to it, and mm. then take the parishioners. Okay. Yep. Views of okay. so if the money you? ever comes. <coughs> During an HCV meeting, or in a discussion around it about traffic lights that are um, triggered by speeding. Mm -hmm. So if you go through them above the speed limit, you get a red light. Mm -hmm. yes. So it, it yeah. gradually shows people that if you're going to speak to the village, there's no point because then you'll be stopped. Really yeah. That's a clever one. Yeah. Yeah. I've never well, seen that. I don't that. think, I don't think there is. So camera at the end of the village to make it the red. It would, it would, it would, it would yeah. I don't know if you can link to the SID devices that would be. Yeah. 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 That's clever. Yeah.
Well, they're all over France and Spain. Um, um, yeah. okay. So we're looking at 60 to 90 for two. Can, we can always put that slot on it, can we? Can suggest. I think I think suggest it, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that really does mm. deal with the yeah. issue. Yeah. It does. And when the kids learn how to trigger it, then it will be on red all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's roughly very fast. <laughs> so that's something. Would that be above the ditches? The, the um the way uh, oh. sorting out the well I the think so. I think it's right. right. yeah. 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 the benefit the majority yeah. of okay. the village. So you've got a light controlled crossing or a uh, means of slowing traffic down. We can quite the wording that long later on. Um, and then we've got the uh, the bank erosion sorting out the traffic, the uh, the road for the wear and also the gradual way. Outdoor gym as the third thing? I think you're doing two things, aren't you? You're looking for money for something you haven't discussed yet. I think the outdoor gym is very controversial. I think we need to. I thought you were saying the Reeves ditch and the other one's too. Well, I, I suggested two, but that was, I wasn't getting feedback on two. I agreed that it was two. We're probably doing two. Yeah. I think I, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think if you put it in as one, people will just think you're tightening up. Which is a good thing. Yeah. It's just, they might think, oh, yeah, we'll do one, but we'll do two. Okay. So I think, you know, I'd, I'd almost combine it because I think in the scale of what people are looking at, it won't be a huge sum of money, and I'll look at it for a firm involved in that I think they're more likely to go, yes. Whereas if you've got two the same, I'll say, well, we'll do one, but we won't do two the same. That's my list of well. With the parts, that will benefit a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we're saying go to the, the one? The the great them together. Yeah. For me, I would. You know, they're, no, they're okay with the concept of doing one. Mm. Why would you not just do two? Okay. Money yeah. Okay. So that's, that's going to be big, isn't it? I mean, I seem to remember Gravely Way was quoted at sort of 20,000 to 25,000 previously before, because they're talking about shoring it all up. So yeah. you could be sort of looking at 50,000 for the two of them. Um, so they're big ones. Um, and then we need to think about a, a cheaper. I mean, I like your idea of an MAU. Could we, could we include some tree work in that? If you're tidying up the banks, include the trees because they get throttled by ivy. I don't know people mm -hmm. do that locally, but if, you, if you're improving it, mm -hmm. probably not the trees are there. Yeah, I think be, well, the plan for the Reeves Ditch was to, to restore the bank, yeah. which was your land, yeah. and then replant over trees and which the bank. Yeah. 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 So I think it'd be good to do that on both again. How much detail do we have to give in the application? Short summary, but if the last thing that if you've got quotes, obviously you haven't got quotes for your thing. And at this point it's just a short summary. Um. Me personally, I know it's a long haul, but it is still benefit for the whole village and we do have such a traffic problem. It's just a feasibility study for a bypass. You know, if if feasibility studies are somewhere in the region of ten grand, it's something the parish council are never gonna pay for. But it's something that is then at least sitting there. Mm. Or, or would it ever be funded? I think that's the trouble. I think it's so far off being funded. Well, it's nice to have. It wouldn't benefit anyone in the short term. Because it just, I mean, term. you're looking at billions of Yeah, yeah absolutely. The only way you can get it is a housing estate. Um, and if they were going to do it, they would have done it while the A14 was being built. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If so, it brings you on to your NMU, so. I mean, they kind of is a bypass. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's quicker through here. It goes through. Nice. Yeah. Um, will you say to the car park? 2000 That's easy. It's such a small amount of money, isn't it? If or, we're applying for a large yes. fleet. Or we go to the community um, orchard and, and the ask them to plant trees. Share, share the cost of that, don't No, we didn't they, last time. But they, it was a huge last time. I, I mean, we might we might get some. It. We might get some more <laughs> spaces, perhaps. Why, why don't we no. do um, right away traffic calming um, and do it um, where houses there aren't too many houses? And one of the places where the traffic really does ram up is just as you're going past the end of Church End. Which presumably is away from the houses, so if they were stopping and starting, it wouldn't be too much of a And I'm thinking that they do absolutely hack it down there into the village. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I mean, I'm very aware that you don't want traffic coming too close to a house because it's horrible. No, I don't. Yeah. But I wondered if we did a, or one of those 
you know, where you close the road off both ways. So it is then single file through. There's no and houses it's, there. It's, it's well, a nightmare for buses. And, yeah, so I don't know where our boundary is. Mill and Yeah, I was thinking further than that. Where you've got the chicane. Yeah. And it's very difficult for buses to get through that. Because that's where the 30 mile per hour starts, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, that was sort of roughly where I was thinking, because they're definitely very... Uh, that's where the police can sit. I think okay. the road is narrow enough, actually, because there's quite... We have a... Instead of a, a, the track normally we've got to drive around, it goes to the side of the road. They simply narrow the road to a single mm -hmm. carriage. Yes. So you're in the centre of the road. You there's quite a few new and this is there, because I used to work at Summersham and Piffley and... The number of cars you see screeching. But one of the reasons to do it is if the lorries find that they have such a hassle going through and they're having to go right way down and use a lot of diesel because they're having to stop and then restart them as long as it's not near houses that are listening to it all, they may then go the other way. On Church End, do you mean? I mean just where the 31 now starts. On 1040. On, 10 on the 1040. Where you, where you fork off to go to down Church Yeah. Because then you could row, close the road down to a single lane there, there's plenty of space, and it, would, it might deter... Oh, the yeah, it might deter a lot of the lorries from coming through, because they know they've got to stop. I think it will cause a bottleneck back into the village, because if you, when you're trying to get out of church end some days, it's just a constant stream of traffic, and then if you've got traffic backing up, queuing to get through and narrowing in the road, I just think it's going to be a nightmare. You're talking about them being red coming into the village, aren't you? Mm. So you're allowing Priority traffic to get out. And yes, having to queue and it's to come making in. queue to come in, not, so not queue to go out. Not so queue to get out. But I just, th I just think it's a deterrent if it's not affecting other houses, you know, bushes living there. Mm. Unless you go for a feasibility study. But the feasibility study on it, on the idea. You're not why saying, not? Yeah. You're not committing to it. There is just... already a sort of chicane, isn't there? Yeah, yeah but it doesn't yeah. really. But there's there's absolutely loads of ideas that we could explore. We're not mm -hmm. going to know it here. No. I mean, just to throw another one here that came out of this meeting when we met at the highway. She said changing the colour of the road surface. Yeah. It's psychologically supposed to be there. Mm. Yeah, it works in that well. Yeah. Mm. And making the roads narrow. Yeah. And not so that they don't certainly block in the lane. Lines that make it look yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just I prefer that to a chicane because the chicanes are just really do and, and you've got to think of emergency vehicles getting through as well. That's just a nightmare. As a community midwife, I know <laughs> trying to get through these villages with chicanes, it's really tricky. I'm only thinking about it. Well, like I said, you could do a feasibility study for. I don't mean. I don't mean for traffic harm in general. If we do a feasibility study for traffic harm in general, including we could put in some suggestions and then we see what we come up with. That, I think, and, I think be, that and that's be. benefiting the whole project. Yeah. If we can okay. try and well, let's move that on. I think that's three. Are we happy with that? Okay. And three. So the third one was. But a feasibility study for traffic, traffic harming in the village. Maybe put fifteen grand. Down yeah. for that. What about three? Uh, puffin slash toucan crossing on Potsdam. Separate one. The first one. Uh, Ditching the <coughs> way and read ditch bank and fear plus tree work. Um, plus foot pass. Fifty thousand for that. Plus foot pass. Uh, a feasibility study for traffic calming. Mm. Well no, because one would just be a, a traffic light system. The other one we're talking about all sorts of other other ideas. One with the first one being specific, the other ones would just doing bits and pieces, other things that may be applicable. So I would suggest that we, we move with those. Are you happy to if I propose those? I think we're going to bring those. 60 to 90. Okay. I feel it's a shame that there's not one that's more leisure or yeah. enjoyment. Yeah. I just think it's very difficult because we could discuss it. I think, it. You, know, I think you might get them from somewhere else, but because we've, as we've found before, there's a lot of people with money. Companies. I've got not totally happy, but I've got general happiness that we can go forward with those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do I need to propose a second? Okay. I'm going to propose that those are freely put forward. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favour? Can I abstain? You can, yeah. Right. 
Is this one abstain abstention? Okay. So, right. Okay. So, you can take more to right there. So we'll make sure. I'll ask the clerk to make the other end because we should have been in um, at the weekend, but we'll make sure it's in tomorrow. So, thank you very much for that. Great. Thank you. Um, right now, item number twenty thirty is uh, to discuss and resolve on the creation of parish council emails. Now, this is again what our clerk has picked up from training courses. The recommendation is that we all have our own uh, email address uh, based on Hilton Parish Council, so name at Hilton Parish Council. So it looks like a, a company. Um, but there's a cost associated with that, which was it 18 pounds or something? There's three different options. Oh, okay. I've like gone to the appendix. So that was the uh, suggestion. Oh, I should put a year. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. So, yeah. it's appendix number five in the supporting docs. I'm oh, sorry. I've remembered the year. So, um, I mean, is it possible to say why uh, the training course recommended it? Yes. Sort of. Data security, so you've got. Uh, Confidential information being sent to personal email addresses. If you cease to be a councillor tomorrow, you still hold that confidential information. If it goes to a parish council email address, we can then shut that down as soon as you cease to be a councillor and you don't hold that personal information. Even things like parishioners' email addresses, you shouldn't have on personal email address. It should be on a, a parish council specific one. Okay. Um, I'll do a brief review of when I come to that happens. Straight away, doesn't it? They've cut you in the West. However, I think, uh, personally, we have to consider the cost. Yeah, so, and whether yeah, we're in theory, couldn't we just set up new generic email addresses? Mm. Like Gmail. With, with for use as a counselor, so you hold, are aware of the password as well. So, therefore, if we seem to be a member, you can close the account down. Well, as in one for all parish each. Well, you'd have one each. Mm -hmm. And where would you set them up? On a generic email address. Gmail or Hotmail. Or yeah. You can do. It's not very professional. It's, it's free. It ticks the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, could do. You can't manage it centrally as easily. But what I'm just saying, in terms of managing centrally, the only example I can think of now is, is if we left, you want to stop us from access to the combination information. That sole purpose we can do with just sharing passwords with you for that individual account. Which is, if it's £80 pound per person per year, it's well, cost that. That's, that's one option, that's one of the most expensive options, yeah. middle of the road option. Which is sort of 220 years now. But I, I just think for. Personally, to do it is this just £1.50 a month more? Or have I well, something? Yeah, it's £1.50 a month more. So I'm just trying to think what added benefit that gives you. Mm -hmm. At Hilton Parish Council.com email address. Which is a more professional option than Gmail. Most of the parish councils are moving away from Gmail. But people doing uh, parishioners wouldn't email us directly, would we? Uh, uh, people, uh, parishioners would email the clerk. Not necessarily. Some do email directly to individual councillors. Um, and at the same time, obviously I'm then sending out information to you. Um, and so it's for the dissemination of information. Yeah. I do agree it would be good to have a separate email. I suppose that I, I'm just conscious that is that I could use a person's money to cross the pay. Is there not an another, any other alternative in terms of document sharing? Like we use SharePoint or Dropbox, you know, things like that, where you could post all the material. You still using Dropbox, wouldn't you? I set it up as a one-off. Because I think giving me an eye document, it would be easier to do that. Didn't use it at the time nowadays. I think it might just occur that they're coming through. I think Dropbox would be good for the meeting, because I think it's in the same place, because I've dated your data. There's just one file with like the statement that's getting to this. But my personal view is, I think we can do something relatively simple. Mm -hmm. Yes, it might not look professional, but it saves 
pushing his money. I think most people wouldn't mind seeing a hot male or female rather than Northern Paris Council. That's my first one. When the account was changed, that's pretty yes. I mean, if we had a sort of similar format, perhaps. Yes, yeah, so he set up a Gmail account. So you can tell when you were emailing a PC rather than emailing yeah. individuals. Okay, um, just, just an understanding though, you, you already got our history six five. Yeah, so, so you're talking about eighteen pounds a year to. Yeah. That's what this. I'm saying. It's one pound fifty more a month. Yeah. Oh, that we're talking about covers everyone. Everyone. Yeah, that's three hundred emails. One pound fifty. Oh, emails. sorry. Yeah, sorry. So that's yeah, not. Yeah, not three hundred. Three hundred users. So yeah, three hundred email addresses. Only three hundred in the environment. Sorry, I thought it was 940 plus 150 each. Right, okay. 18 pounds a year. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I think so then. I thought it was 18 pounds per person yes. per year. Yes. So we can have 18 pounds. 18 pounds per year. Per year, and we get a. You can have 300 <laughs> I was going to say, have one for each villager near enough. Yeah. 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 Um, on the normal email app, and every time the system mm -hmm. has been over. But there's more management. There's more management for you than managing the accounts. Account. It, it shouldn't be an ongoing management. It should be set it up, off you go, it should be an email address. When you cease to be a councillor, I will shut it down. Okay. Okay. I presume we can try it, actually. I'm getting a general sort of buzz it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine if it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Question, I'm guessing the upgrade, because that's upgrading from the standard package to premium, I'm guessing you get other benefits with that as well than they have. Yeah, you get um, the sh SharePoint. Okay. There's, there's a, a sh file yeah. sharing system, so yes, we could potentially then use that for... Oh, so there's yeah, a there is a benefit. I think it would work for them, not the other case, you can't because it's reasonable value for money to get that. But I think there are other benefits you get as well that can make it even more valuable. Yeah. Okay. So the proposal is that we go ahead and go for the option. Can I get a second to finish? Mm -hmm. Any seconding? All in favour? There are. You know? Yes, there are. Fine, thank you. Okay, right, item number 31, to adopt the publication scheme. Now, this is for, correct me, this is for the um, playground, is No, the publication scheme is uh, the ICO document. It's the Information Commissioner's Office. So, it's the Hilton Parish Council publication scheme is emailed separately on the first year. So this is just based on the ICO's model publication scheme. Oh, now I have seen that. Yes, I saw it and it's run away. I will say, this is a particularly... Um, if you've got it actually... Yeah, yeah, so the appendix oh. 6 has got the details of what the publication scheme is and then there's a separate word document. Publication scheme dropped? Yeah. That's one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right, I was going to ask you, this is... Has this been, you said it's in favour, so generally this is what's recommended so the, in the The format of uh, what is on there mm -hmm. is um, a model one from mm -hmm. the ICO office. Right. The information about how the information can be obtained I've taken from other fresh chapters. Right. And this is the one where all the bits and pieces, sorry, I'm not looking at that yet, so lots of stuff to get, website, hard copies. It's, it's basically yeah. what information we hold that the commissioners could make a freedom of information request yeah. on. The various classes. Copies of. Yeah. So they have to know what information we hold to know what to ask for. And at the moment we have nothing like this, presuming, as our own document. So it's a requirement, again, some more bits and pieces of care, not training. Um, 
it's goes on for seven pages. Yeah. What's I mean? Yeah. Is there anything in there? I mean, it's a lot to go through. But I mean, so this is basically about agenda and supporting documents and meetings and what can and can't be published. It's more than that. Yes, it's everything we hold, including our policies, the asset register, um, what services we offer, um, and basically any information that I hold can be requested on the written information request. Or technically any information you hold, so you know, anything you've got on those personal email addresses, somebody could make a freedom of information request to see them, because if you're holding it on her health basis, they get the right to see it. There are a few exceptions regarding confidentiality and... Uh, legal um, documents that are protected, but uh, say under like minutes of meetings, anything that's properly regarded as private, so like your minutes of exclusion, are properly regarded as private, so they aren't available under freedom of information until they are published. Um, but the rest, you yeah, know, the remainder of the minutes of the meeting, we currently got on the website anyway, but should somebody say, I oh, don't use websites, I want a hard copy, then they specify how they can know about getting on. Again, it will be a document that presumably is live and we can change it or we can modify it, provided we don't go outside the requirements of the policy rules. Um, but if we're required to have one, this would seem to be a good starting point. Uh, list of various classes, services, etc. So there's a lot of yeah, everything we've got there or that we have should be catered for in one of those classes. So the costs here. We just, is that just something you put in it's as an standard, It's standard, standard standard across, yeah, every parish council has a 10 p per sheet for black and white, 25 p per colour. Okay. Not like if technically do colour, because I don't have a print. Mm -hmm. but, Which is why you have to go photocopy. I'm just thinking you do that, even take it to count your time. It isn't going to reduce it. But you have to be very careful because it has to be, it's a disbursement for the cost, it covers your actual cost. Mm. Of printing, I don't know whether. Oh, I would have thought you could make that as well. There is um, provision under the ICO about information that um, it cost you more than four hundred pounds to collate the information. Just off the top of my head, I remember reading something along those lines. But ten p a sheet, realistically, for photocopying covers my time as well, doesn't it? Mm. In the main, it should be going on from a printing kind of thing. You know, but if you know somebody will bring something with a bit of information, you see the country that you don't get it. Because we're trying to make it a little bit reasonable. Well, let's say the temperature is standard. It's still reasonable. It just seems to be particularly Right. The starting point. At the moment, we have nothing. If, that's, if the 10p is what is currently charged, we don't want to be accused of no. <laughs> charging no, excessive no, amounts to prevent people doing it. No, I wouldn't think of that. Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, you're not. Yeah, now, technically, um, under this free information, there are 20 working days to do it. So, uh, it's at four weeks. It's cool. it's very cool. But also, by, by dust. Could you do it the other way around? By adopting the publication scheme, you're not adopting necessarily a supporting document scheme. No, so it's two separate. So I'm afraid of this, it doesn't rule out this. No. It's important document in accordance with this, that's all. But yeah, okay. This is policy, isn't it? Yes. You go to the policy. Yeah, essentially, but we have one, we don't have one. Well, I mean, it's a requirement, it's a statutory requirement, yeah. I mean, it would be down to the policy people to review it. Yep. Is it such a problem you have a policy or that you do but it? you have this publication scheme. Right, yeah. You yeah, have to have different. a publication scheme. Can we adopt it? It have a policy on it, isn't it? Yeah. Legislation says you have to make documents available and, and having a policy on it is slightly different. I doubt that it's a policy, so you have to do no, it. No, you have to have this, this document isn't, well, it is a policy, but it's a, this publication scheme must be available. What are you probably supposed to do? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't have to be this one. This is the model one that you yes. guys have. I was going to say, the is about the information, <coughs> not the policy. So I think, to Kieran's point, this probably should go to the. So what is the no. requirement? Public authorities must publish under their publication scheme any data they hold. So you have to have this publication scheme out there to say what people can request. But do we have to have this version of it? Not necessarily. So that's that's the point. I'm suggesting that we adopt it tonight and then um, so and have it reviewed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah. And give it the time limit. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, all, all policy documents need to be reviewed, don't they, from time to time? So that wouldn't be an issue. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, so based on that, can I um, suggest that we adopt this policy as it's down here? Um, and then when the policy group the next meeting, they can review this and check they're happy there's no holes in it there. <coughs> they're okay with it. So, <clears throat> on that understanding, can I have a, a second there? Can we can we can check. There's a reason that we're, we're doing this now rather than after the policy meeting, just because we, we there's a time something. for this that we have to get it in place today. It's kind of catching up. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any harm. But, um, yeah, just, I just learned, I mean, sometimes we don't want to rush things through, I've just, it seems to be rushing to get it, so there's a reason behind rushing it, because we need to have it in place now. Let's say, if the policy group were to meet next week, or the event, you'd better start, it's how fast the policy group. For the weekend, so. Well, yes, Ben, but at least you've got something to read, haven't you? At least in the policy group, you've got something to start with, and you can sort out yeah. which ones are the priorities. Yeah, right. At least we've got it, yeah. 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 And this is, as I understand it, the, it's the model code, it's not like something that's just been, it's a bit more, it's been tweaked about, maybe, but uh, it's a model code. I mean, if I'm happy, I'm happy to stall. But mm -hmm. It's not a general sense of happiness, is it? No. <laughs> I think it's, I think the policy, I, I think we're making quite a lot of an issue about something that should have been in place. A while ago, mm -hmm. we have a, 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 a group that can review it. Mm -hmm. So if we put it in place right now and then ask the group to review it when mm -hmm. the next meet, within mm -hmm. the next month, month and a half, we've got it in place. I, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any, anything very contentious in this document. I have read it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think no, anything just, very yeah. concerning. That was a proposal, but I said just trying to get yeah. everybody on board, which is, this is a general consensus that we're not entirely happy. Well, I'm happy. Okay. If you propose it, I'll send it. Right, I propose it exactly what I've just said. <laughs> okay. Can we yes. put a time on a frame on when it's going to be reviewed then? Because we don't know how often the policy meetings group meet, but it just well, seems silly to adopt it and say when they next meet, which might be in a year's time. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, think, I think our clerk will be encouraging them to meet before then because there are other ones that need to be doing. So. Okay. So Sarah's proposed it. Ian seconded it. Are we all happy on that basis? And are you saying or against? Box of saying. Okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Right. Item thirty-one point two. To consider how to fly. It's interesting because we haven't we haven't agreed that thirty-one point two.
uh, to consider how to apply the publication scheme for supporting documents, Appendix 6. So, assuming that we have the policy document in the publication document in place, uh, the point we have now is Appendix number 6 in supporting docs as to how that would apply. Okay. It's just a single page. Yeah, single page. Um, I really think it's a little <coughs> much to go through tonight, personally. But I would suggest that policy groups tax it on. This has been on the agenda yeah. for a few months. No, it? no, it was discussed in February. Uh, and the agreement there was that we would wait until the clerk had her feet under the table. Because the problem with this is that it obviously falls a lot more work on the clerk to, to um, make sure that what gets sent out is correct. Um, as Nic Nicola's email just to say, can she have all the supporting documents a week before? And I believe mm -hmm. we had conversation to worry about if it's not in by week four it can't go on the agenda so I, I think that's giving them, us a reasonable time to get all the supporting documents in well, it was something we discussed mm -hmm. when we met the other day was having the standard template pro forma for information that's yeah. like to the clerk so that it's easy for the okay. you tend to get the emails different things and of course when you together into the same format ends up with what we have today which is useful, but content. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to take a huge amount of work to make this a public document. Yeah, exactly. To get rid of all the bits and pieces that are confidential, which is address and why all the. But I think there that's needs why to I was be. Thinking, if you have some sort of standard format, it would be a tick box. Yeah, so it can be clear this is format goes in, and then it would be the responsibility of people to that information to. Mm. Or, like, we could have two, so we could have parish, parish council supporting documents where you have, like, the full stuff we've got now. And if you're putting an item forward to the agenda, you have to give some sort of, as well as your motion that we're putting forward, you have to give some sort of summary and overview and into a standard template that you're suggesting. And that's what goes to the parishioners. Mm -hmm. Just so they've got some background about the agenda items, they don't have to have the full amount of detail that we've got, because obviously they can't necessarily, and it's a lot. <laughs> But to give more detail around the, because the agenda item points, you can read them and it's not even necessarily clear what we're going to be discussing. Mm -hmm. So there's no way parishioners could come to the meeting and when you open the floor and say, has anyone got any comments on the agenda? Well, they don't really know what we're actually going to be discussing. So how can they have? Yeah. So that's a fair point. I um, And my view is that we should try and somehow get more information over there. Mm -hmm. But if we get this wrong, we could get it. We, you might never have any other time but just sorting out the documents. Yeah, it that's what I mean, just if a summary. If you look at the information just for this meeting, it's probably the largest I can do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pages and pages and pages of yeah. it. Yeah. So that's where it's somehow got it gone through and redacted to get it into a format. But things I'd like... I'd come back to the border issue. Well. If we can get standard template for yeah. supplying information, so you probably have a few different categories, some fine quotes, for this, for this. so it comes in... Uh, and maybe it's just going to be exactly some read box at the top, which is the bit that you don't make the way, but I don't know if that's feasible or not. But I think it is a chunk of work that somebody needs to think about outside of this meeting. Mm -hmm. To your point, you, you, you would just, we'd either double it, make it full time, yeah. or we'll, uh, <laughs> open ourselves up. But also, some of, you know, some of the, um, say, quotes for work or quotes from suppliers, um, I don't, you know, I. Other parish councils share that information. So, and for example, you know the bench suppliers. You know there would be no harm in sharing that with parishioners so that they can see that we have extensively got three quotes and we've got. I know. You probably could share those quotes. We think about this village. We could be sharing confidential information with people who are competitors. That's that's the problem. But then we. Well, but if we have a standard template, because you could, have, if it was something to do with quotes, surely we could have a template that was quote one, quote two, quote three, and just slotted a picture there, like you didn't put in a, a business name. What about pictures and images, like from benches and everything? 
that's a, that kind of information. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think we could try the summary? Would you have time to? To produce a second. A second. I mean, the, the, the basically you've been agenda plus a paragraph of the agenda item as a start. Yeah. Yeah. But hopefully, when the the suggested item comes in or whatever, the the councillor who suggested it wants it on the agenda not only comes up the supporting documents but also does a paragraph summary as to what it is. But it's going on the agenda if you're not getting it. It won't be on the agenda, sorry? So that's going on the agenda and you're not getting this one. I was thinking it would be a separate document. So the agenda, because otherwise you then, on the all, when you put things on the notice board, you have pages and pages, pages. If the agenda was just kept the same as it is, but there was a supporting document, it was just a paragraph. Just a on the website. Yeah, or whatever, whether it was a hard copy or it was just a, a supporting document. Summary. summary, just a bit more detail than you, you currently get. Um, and I also believe we're going to get more information on the counts now. So that's something that's different as well. The other option is that, like I say, we take this off, someone takes this offline, maybe looks at what it entails to do it, maybe with support of a parishioner who's interested in receiving the document so they can understand A, what they want, B, the effort that's required, and then you can think about this as a, you know, is it, is it well, it's a nice to have, is it really valuable for someone to generate this for people who can't participate in the conversation? Anyway, to see what information. You've got to come back there with the intent of questions about the ads. Mm -hmm. Well, I would suggest that we do it for one month, next month, and see whether it is. Is it possible to do it for next month? Yeah, so you just want a second document to show an explanation? An ex yeah, an extra paragraph of what the. Because it won't be possible on all items, but on um, certain items. We're going to put that on the website and we're going to say to parishioners, print it off and bring it with you. Well, <coughs> Or have it on their phone. Would it be or website? Or Would it be website possible? Again, it's a website. I don't see why. Can you put different things on the website so that can be, if it's on the website, does it have to be on the notice boards as well? I mean, no. it's only going to be no. one single site, so yeah. I would think. No, I think it could be more than that, but yeah. Well, um, I think it's the more you put the notice board, the more difficult it is. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Can you restrict it to items which require a vote? So, reports, for instance. Hmm. Reports should actually, there should be a vote to receive the report. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve we're going through here, so um, yeah. let's what try it. Hmm? What, what would you, what if you rejected it, what does that mean? <laughs> 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 so you vote before you even listen. Sure, so you to want it. to listen to it. <laughs> well, I think a lot of this, you know, the, the supporting documents tonight, a lot of it is um, is wouldn't cause any harm to be shared with parishioners. It, it was, there's not a lot of really confidential stuff like it. Um, you may leave it something to still go through and check it all out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that might be the case for tonight. And yeah, I see what you mean. It's still a hard copy. Like, uh, I, I agree that I think the councillor submitting it should be that. Um, because, like, for instance, the three bench suppliers, you know, I, I think actually parishioners would be interested to see, you know, who would, who would, you know, look to the, and, and what the costs so, uh, are. Yeah, that's what I'm that? going back to. That would be good if, if the person sending it in sends this exactly summary and then the things you want to add yeah. about it in. But you've got a billionaire who got two people quoting. Yeah. Is that so, the so we need to know who they are. Yes. But you wouldn't want that to be public knowledge. Because you may have worked out a deal. I'm not taking questions, sorry. Um, you therefore would, there would be a, um, you might have worked out a deal with somebody. You might have got a particularly good price with a particular manufacturer. So they, all, the, all the quotes should be A, B, C. Isn't that, and there could be, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh, I wouldn't be for It's not a quote, it's just. I mean, I mean closed session, sorry. So yeah. I wouldn't be for figures, then. No? Oh. I think it's such a, a, a big one, as you, as you said, it's a, it's, yeah. there's many things that we need to do. I, rather than doing a big change, if we can just do a, a little, little bit and see how it works out. I agree, though, don't, there's no necessary to have the quotes for the supporting documents. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's just to note so that people coming to the meeting know what we're discussing. Mm -hmm. They don't need to know the values because we're going to discuss well, it right, anyway. Yeah. I mean, so, it's not, yeah. We don't just say no. yes or no, because we do open the meeting up. Yeah. Can this just go to policy group and then the issues flash out rather than just walk into it half done and not 
I'm happy to, to do that. What's the general thought of that one? I Plus, think it needs <coughs> thinking through. Yeah. Okay. So who's not going to see what Rob's going on and understand yeah. more clearly okay. what that is? Because okay. that might be the answer. Yeah. Okay. Well, I propose then that policy group. Policy group. No. <laughs> 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 I think he might be invited. It's a working group, so he can be invited. Yes. Because yes. yes, he said so much. Yes. That's right. Bearing in mind the general consensus is that we understand that additional information will be useful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the policy yeah. group can discuss that as to how best. And reach out to anyone that they want to have and to what doing it. Okay. Okay. Perhaps okay. to give So I propose that we do that. Okay. I'll second to that. Second to that. second to that. All those in favour? Yeah, Ian? Yeah. Yes. All. Yeah. Is it worth putting anything on the website to ask? You know, Oh, it, it's a policy working group, so the policy working group can some advise some the customers, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. There's, enough, there's enough ideas. Okay, okay item 32. Purchased 11th edition of Arnold Baker on local council administration. More money. Um, that's right. I'm going to ask the clerk to explain why this book is so useful. So this is my yellow Bible. Over there, that yeah. So we're currently got the 9th edition, so we are quite out of date. So that contains with it all the laws that apply to us as a council, um, all the statutory <coughs> instruments are listed in there in detail, um, and that's where I go to, when you say this, to say, do we have a statute available to us uh, or, who, that is permanent on my side. Um, that is the same it's the cause of all the trouble then. It's the cause of all the trouble. Yeah. It's all the roles are coming from the book. Sorry. But that's a different um, time to agree with you like that. Can you see the size of it? It's also two questions really. How long has that edition been out and we know roughly when the next one's coming out? Mm. I'm just getting to the point that that one is that three years old and the next one is due out two months' time. Right, it's 2001. Really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, sorry, that's the one. The 11th edition has the Data Protection Act 2018 in it. So it's fairly recent, but I don't think so. 13, perhaps? 2013? Mm. Please. Well, it must be 2013, but it's a. Well, it says here what's new is the new book, it's something else. We are 2. We are 9th, we're skipping one. What's going on? Well, I think it's worth it, you know, this is 2013. We need to be up to date with things like data protection. So this is running on the data protection, not I don't think it's. Right. I don't think it's a waste of no. Will we tend to replace it every couple of years? Or is every it another there's an addition we should replace it? Right. You can't share it with our neighbours, isn't it? Yeah. Given yeah. how often I refer to it. It's yeah. really as bug as it is. Yeah. Even right. it's, okay. but, um, it's not just nice to have. put in there that it is referred to, I think it's in the foreword, that, that it is referred to as the Clark's Bible. Yeah, okay. No, it does sound as though we were. This 11th edition is, uh, is pretty recent. Yeah, okay. 2008. So, um, and is that the 9th has been around for quite a while, so yeah, thank you. And is that an excluding, excluding that price? Or including that price? It doesn't say. Okay. okay. It says members price. Okay, so you're talking about 103 pounds. Yeah, okay, so you're looking at a figure of 103.99, so 105 pounds, which hopefully will last us for a few years. Thank you. Shall I propose me to be by it? And I'll second it. Okay. Thank you. All in favour? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Thank you, Rush. Good. Okay. Um, item 33, traffic. To discuss how to advertise traditional speed watch volunteers. At the moment, um, I wonder whether that would find your uh, media. No, it could do. Never whether it could come under media, but media, but uh, yeah, sorry. Um, it's just really because we've had, I think, five people trained to speak watch, but they still don't seem to have um, been able to get a group organised due to various reasons within the people that have been trained. 
So we obviously need more people trained. Mm -hmm. um, I think we discussed it a few months ago. Um, originally, Speedwatch was putting together almost data <coughs> in a two-week period of time for a specific meeting, which then passed. Mm -hmm. But the council discussed, well, if Speedwatch are happy to carry on, we'll do it as a nice to have. But then at the annual meeting, you suggested that you think the police are still waiting for that data. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Mm -hmm. um, if they are, then we obviously need to get more Speedwatch yeah, being done. I have had one extra volunteer come forward who's doing training on the 18th of June, and they've got two more sessions in June. So I just really thought we need to see if any of my parishioners want to go to those training sessions. So I've got the dates in, so we can put them on the website, inspect them, I think it's too late, or the parish notice board and ask them to contact the clerk. Uh -huh. okay. When's the big training course? Oh, is, it in, is it in June? There's two in June. Because uh, expect them to come out in July. Yeah. Um, yeah. There possibly will be more dates, they seem to be doing them fairly frequently. Um, so it's 15th of June, 10 till 11.30, and 29th of June. But we do need people to do that, so we need to let me know. Well, there's always flyers, there's nice and nice board. It's on the, it on the uh, website now. This finishes. Yes. Could you raise it on the, as, a, as a first thing? I don't thing, think it's on these new dates. Could we put some dates on there? Yeah, they're well. able to send on these dates. Could you contact? Yeah. Yeah. Could that be noticed mm -hmm. when you first come up? Yeah. 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 So that would be specific for the legal and volunteers for these two dates? I mean, that's the next two dates, so yeah. it makes sense to try and get people that are okay on the dates. Mm. Yeah. Yes, rather than just say, can you volunteer then? Yeah. You're not available. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. it really. Fine, thank you. So I don't think you can focus on that one. Um, are we okay with that? Yeah. No decision. Pushing it forward. Good, okay. Now, to discuss whether to open the Hilton Traffic Group to additional non councillors, that comes back to Appendix A where we have the Traffic group, I mean, do we call it the Hilton Traffic Group? The appendix A. Was on appendix A called that, yeah. Yes, okay. I mean, you've already, I mean, it's down to working kind of group. We've discussed that yeah. before, so they're yes. going to have Yes, you can invite if you want to make sure we get a. Okay. Yeah, fine, thank you. So we'll have to describe it as a working group down to yourselves, and then you can come back to the council and tell us what you've discussed and who's with and we'll work on Thank you. Um, so, 33.3. Received the report from Hilton Services against traffic speeding. Again, Appendix 8, same, same locations, um, similar amounts of speedings and things. And um, I think we just need to note that, that we've got the, the same suggestions about pedestrian crossing signs um, and the 40 mile per hour limit before coming into, um, coming into the village. So as long as you've got that and noted it and aware of what's happening, Resolution to receive. Oh, a resolution to receive this report. So I suppose if we didn't like it, we could just say we're not including it in our minutes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Did we yeah. at one point talk about getting the, the sign? I'm sure that there was some discussion about getting costings for the, the road signs. I think, I think it was just a suggestion, would it be not? Yeah, approach to Um, did, does that mean that they, what they wouldn't give you a cost or they do, so we couldn't do it? Yeah, you'd have to do it as part of their lifetime. Well, you just for a pedestrian's design. Okay. So, I propose that we accept this report. Anyone want to second that? <laughs> no one's going to second it. You don't want to accept it as a report. No one's second it. <laughs> All those in favour of accepting the report, say aye. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, thank you. So that's the report for us. The minutes, okay. <coughs> so, 34. Discuss Britain's comments from Open Playground meeting in November <coughs> 18 about <coughs> play slash exercise facilities, facilities for older children and adults within the village and next steps for reviewing possibilities for this. Now, was it yourself or was it just anybody else? Sorry. At meeting. You were at meeting, weren't you? No, me and lots of people. I thought you were. Okay, sorry. No, it was basically, uh, we've discussed it several times previously, but never properly discussed it, because <coughs> then it's been the agenda, but 
but during meeting and in the run-up and around the meeting, we got feedback from various people about um, where the playground equipment was, mm -hmm. whether there could be additional playground equipment, and quite a few people put forward some ideas and some lengthy emails about adult um, exercise equipment or trim trails. <coughs> um, and although those, those, that feedback came back to the working group, it's never really been discussed at an open parish council meeting. So um, I feel like it should be discussed at least what the possibilities are and how, uh, if there are any possibilities for any of those options, um, how, how that could be discussed or how that could be moved forward or a decision is made that that's something that we can't take forward at this time. But I feel like it's not fair on parishioners have made those comments to parish councillors that we haven't discussed it at all. So that's just why it's on there. Okay. I'll say my bit is that um, I was um, suggested by one of the parishioners to go and approach a couple of the farmers, which I have done. Um, I've discussed maybe swapping over where the allotment is at the moment and switching things around and seeing if we can get different space. Seeing from the space beside the wilderness, um, long conversations and absolute no way. The farmers are not going to give up any of their land for kids to run around in um, kind of range. So I've tried on that because I did say at a meeting a few months ago that I was going to do my very, very best to see if I could find some land that bought, was within bounded, you know, bounded village. So I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> is there any way, um, I know once the playground is done and there's going to be a, a seating area mm -hmm. on one side of it, is there any way we could put any um, outdoor gym stuff the other side of that so that it's all in the same area? I think, I think it's, um, it's a question of what you call outdoor gym stuff, isn't it? I mean, if you've seen the fenced lantern equipment, that's quite bold. Um, I was... I've seen the stuff over at St. Neas, where it's a bit more subtle. So it's wooden benches, it's metal poles, it's sort of not quite so visible, yeah. which I would be a lot more... Um, yeah, there's different types on them. Like, I don't know what the Fenn Sanson got. I think it's like, the, like they've got the country park, is it, where they've got like actual... It's like, very big and blue. Mm -hmm. Like says, because obviously I had all the meetings with all the various um, park companies that mm -hmm. were providing the playground, and I did, despite what my views are, I did discuss with them, uh, you know, what about adult equipment, etc. And they said, uh, all three companies that I met all said, for goodness sake, if you're going to put any adult gym equipment out, make sure it is completely and utterly in the open, mm -hmm. nowhere near anything closed because you just get ruinous. It's interesting because Fenn Stanton have put theirs and, and next got to that, school. <laughs> I got that from three different companies that if you're going to do it, make sure it is absolutely open. So you, you, you could say the same for a play park or a board. Oh no, it's women doing, you know, yeah, exercising yeah, is right. what really the problem was. I know, it's ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's been to have mobs and benches and things tucked away in various places for the kids to scramble over. Um, yeah, I, I think there's a couple of views or requirements in that. I think you've got, you've got a population of people that are suggesting they want somewhere as an adult to go and mm -hmm. do some fitness mm -hmm. type work. I think the, the children one we're potentially addressing with the, the clay parks, I think that's, that's covered. Mm -hmm. I think the, the voice that was... was was mentioned was around adult play equipment. Mm -hmm. So I think I think you know that that's what we're I guess that's one something we need to either say that we're gonna look at it, we're gonna consider it, we're gonna feel what the actual demand is and then mm -hmm. make decisions as to whether it's something we want to do or not. I think that's the bit that needs to be put to bed, uh, primarily. The other second thing that was a, a clear voice was the location of the play park. Mm -hmm. And I think again we it, it, it comes down to a piece of work that says what are the options? Can it be moved? Is it something we want to do? And, and then again, so I, guess, I guess both of those questions have been asked that haven't been properly answered. They've just been discussed, muted, and forgotten. So I think, I think <coughs> from what I hear, there's two separate points. If one is the adult play equipment, do we want it? If so, where? Mm -hmm. um, and do enough people want it to justify it? And then the second one is around the location of the play park. And, you know, is it in the right location already? Is it is there option to move it? And do we want to do anything about it? Presumably we can't change the plate now. It really would be a bit awkward. Well, I don't, I don't think 
I, I don't think we should be as close on to say that personally. I think, I, I, I think you know, yes, it would be awkward, but if it's the right thing to do, we should do it. Um, I'm not suggesting we move it, by the way. I'm suggesting this is, this is considering. And if considering it says, no, well, there is no other location, and so be it. Um, and I think, I, I think it's, it's just making sure we've done the due diligence to say it's, it's, it's right or it's. I mean, we haven't done anything really yet other than clear the area. I mean, incredible words. Well said. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, I agree. We, I agree with comments coming to the council, we need to consider them. Although, because we're care careful that we don't create a lot of um, anticipation of something, which yeah, we yeah, yeah. fundamentally we can't deliver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, unless uh, somebody is going to provide some land, or yeah. we decide that the grove, which is the only really bit of land the parish council's got, I think we can't do something like that. Um, but we can take some more trees down here and more space. Um, but so that, that might be work, it might be quite brief in the sense that it might be that there is no other land. That, that, mm -hmm. And that's that's the feedback. But like I said, I think it's it's just one of the steps you need to go to in order to consider it yeah. and then and then to do them in that order and be really clear with the outcome. I'd also like to get a view of the of the full parish so if you're going to, if you ask that at a meeting where you've got a lot of young mums, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of young husbands as well who would be potentially it's not in the right it's not the right demographic that applies to everybody so I was just going to suggest a survey maybe uh, doing an online um, then Stanton Parish Council do quite a lot of surveys with that QR code so, yeah. monkey survey monkey no they, what was the thing that well, he, he did? Yeah, he does do survey monkey. So they've but got the QR code they can scan. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Younger than <laughs> <laughs> so, and they very helpfully said if we wanted any help to do an online survey, he would be happy to set it up. But obviously, we'd probably need to do a <coughs> leaflet drop survey as well. But I don't know what, you know, to ask all those sort of questions to, to the parish to see what the, the feeling is. Um, about, but we'd have to obviously, you know, state, it, we'd have to think about the questions very <coughs> carefully, wouldn't we? Mm. Can I just ask, who owns this strip of land outside we the do. village? <coughs> oh, that's the village hall, beyond the hedge? Yeah, beyond the hedge, the, the other green, side of the green, green. The green, yeah. That's the green. Yeah. So that's so not, not um, anywhere we could... Anything. So do we miss it? Mm -hmm. Pass it on to one of our citizens. Consent's required, but it's not. Um, as far as I understand. Do we pass it on to an existing group, or do we start a new working group, or do we just? Well, I play part. <coughs> Personally, with play part. <coughs> with the green, with the green, should we get involved? Or? Can or can I? Well, I think you have to be careful about you ask these questions. Uh, so, if you're going to do a survey, it's got to be one that's designed to create the full opinion. So yeah. if you guys like, get 40 replies back and everybody wants it, that's not unanimous. No. So no. It's, uh, you can just 40 enthusiastic people oh, yeah. in the village yeah. of 400. So, that's um, why I said you've got to quest, uh, ask the right questions to, to get everybody's view, whether it's positive or negative, mm -hmm. about. Mm. And, and what the actual offer uh, I think before you do that, you, you really have to have a clear <coughs> site where it's going to be located. Mm. Because, um, yeah, I mean, without that, it's, it's not feasible. Yeah. So, is, is it going to be impossible to obtain a sort of plan of permission to put it on, say, you know, I'm not, su I'm not suggesting in the middle of the green, I'm saying, you know, on the edge of the wilderness or on, mm. on you know, behind the village hall here or, you know, I'm, I'm not suggesting that's, that's where it should go, but I'm just... I think it depends what sort of thing you're talking about, right? I mean, it's like, it's like the fence and stuff, it's very visible, isn't it? There is a process you can go by, just a generic, not to answer whether we want to do it or not, but there is a process to go by to, that you can apply for consent on common land or village green, I don't know how we word it, but there is a process to, to do that. I'm not saying that's something that we should look at or not, but there is a process to do it. And I don't know what, when or when you're not likely to get it. Obviously, it depends on the equipment, the servicing, there, there is a know, process fencing, all those right. things. It's a Section 38 application. It's very specific what you can ask for and what you can do. Mm. 
you can get planning permission. The ECHTC wouldn't give planning permission. That's not the, that is not the issue. Um, it's the, it, it, I think the starting point is to find out if this village wants this sort of thing on the common land. And that, that's the way we're going to do it. I think the action today might be some of their one of the working groups. Mm -hmm. to, and, and I think everyone needs to kind of look at the survey and. and mm -hmm. Okay. I would suggest the green open spaces group because it's not playground specific. It's mm -hmm. sounding more more that the green open is to do with the whole green open space of the village. I think the playground group is very specific and it's only a few people. And mm -hmm. um, I don't you, you're on the green. I'm on the green. Yeah. So this isn't something that I'm trying to push through either. It's just I feel like parishioners have made comments and I feel like we should discuss them and look through and look through and not just ignore them. That's no, good. I agree with that. Yeah, I feel the same. I'm just worried about it. Let's send a lot of hairs running. So yeah. we can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get a few, yeah. few people who get quite wound up about it. And really, we're not really offering that without having to go through a lot of loops. So, are you as green convener? Yeah. So you're not? Okay. A convener of the green. Okay. So we need to put that to propose now. It's, a, it's a working group to take you to the next stage. Okay. Right. Thank you for that. I can say five benches. Right, so, uh, this is appendix number nine. So we have lots of lots of benches. Uh, and spikes and things, and that's all we're going to work out. Um, so, Ian, are you still involved in this, or is it all family? Presumably with this on quotes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I. Yeah. 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 Do furniture for outdoors and for par communities and schools and pubs mm -hmm. and parish councils. Um, and in fact, um, you know, I've spoken to all three companies and, and they're, they've been really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a slight amendment for the three yeah. quotes. So I'll just go through. So quote one was from. Oh, am I yeah, right? no. yeah, so quote, quote one. Quote one is um, so my uh, or our proposal, sorry, is for two picnic tables um, of a either circular or square uh, with that will seat eight people to replace the one large picnic bench which is 19 years old um, and two curved teak benches. So. From the first supplier, they uh, she was very helpful actually, Jessica. The picnic bench that's pictured is made of teak and it's quite heavy and sturdy and they supply that to pubs and parish councils and various um, organisations. So she said it's, it's very hard wearing. Um, they were happy to give the anchor kits um, free of charge mm -hmm. as a sort of discount really mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting that what I, I've learned is uh, they recommend <coughs> most of the bench companies only recommend <coughs> one anchor in one leg but <coughs> for parish councils what I've learned is most parish councils um, have two anchors diagonally opposite each other so mm -hmm. an anchor on the front leg and one on the opposite yeah. side of the back yeah. 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 And, and the anchor kits are um, pretty substantial actually like a great big um, spear thing mm -hmm. that is, um, and there's a little video that you can watch on uh, <laughs> on this first it's website it's on how to actually do that mm -hmm. to put it in so it looks a fairly um, straightforward kit uh, to purchase so but they will put that in free of charge i think that first company is probably my favorite actually because they're um i shouldn't say that's the favorite but <coughs> the most helpful up to the top. Um, sorry dear, i don't mean it that that's my the favorite my preferred supply yes no just because she was so helpful on the phone explaining a lot about um bench fixing which is 
interesting. <laughs> then, um, any questions about that first supply? Just a quick question for me. What is one bench? What's the cost of one bench? Um, 600, oh sorry, the bench are 449 99 So you're talking about picnic benches or seats? So the, pit, uh, the curved bench yeah. are 449 what's it, £450. Yeah. And then the um, picnic bench is £700, 699 So the bench is, the picnic bench is more expensive than the chairs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're this is made of teak and it's um, heavy. Oh, right. Okay. Um, made of. So these aren't picnic benches that you'd buy for your back garden. They're right. kind of substantial, heavy, and and she said you, you know, you would struggle to move. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd, yeah. you'd, need, you'd need quite a few people to try and move that. Working, you know. working as a team. <coughs> so, um, but however, if pe as with anything, we know if people want to steal something, they might find a way to steal it anyway. Mm -hmm. But you know, so um, so I felt they were quite average prices, really, for um, how substantial mm -hmm. they are. And how long is the seat? Is it, is it a four-person seat? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's the It looks like it could be a four-person four seat. Um, it's hard to be. Length, oh, six foot, 174 centimetres. Okay. Yeah. And you're, as far as the location is concerned, you're thinking of the curved benches behind the maze? Yes, right? yes, yeah, sort of clear of the trees so that they're mm. not... Well, the current one is right under quite a lot of overhanging branches. So I think when we looked at it, Ian, we had a sort of discussion about mm -hmm. putting maybe one either side of the current where the location. But very much in that location, just trying yeah. to place them a little bit away from the tree mass. Did we agree on the locations at the last meeting? We had a bench survey, didn't we? Yeah, that yeah. was yeah. disgusting. Yeah. But it's not sort of like so they're not 100 going foot away in one direction or another. They're yeah. roughly in the same So way. when you look at where the trees are, obviously we don't want the benches under the trees for sort of debris falling on, on, the, ben on, on the benches or... or and actually since that picnic's been there, the bench has been there 19 years, that big tree has grown much so over it quite a lot. So it's, um, yeah, the bench. Um, so that's, any more questions on one? Um, uh, supplier two, um, they have a Swedish redwood picnic bench um, and then a tea, curved teal bench plus fixings. Um, the fixings are included with this and they send enough you know, fixings for the benches. Um, oh, sorry, yeah. Why did I say sorry? It says yes. teal. It says yeah, sorry, it should be too curved. It says teal, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. It is teal, sorry. Yeah. So Shall we knock them out because they can't click the And personally, the square one is actually. <coughs> Much easier for wheelchair access, you know, and people with push chairs to push. Because you've still got a corner of the table. Yeah. What's, what's the table making? On the first one. On the third one. On the third one. It's, it's just meant to oh, it's that's pine. Mm. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> so the third one is. Um, <laughs> there's unfortunately an amendment on the price for the third one. Uh, the total cost is two six eight. Oh, sorry, should, should I be saying that? Yeah, two six yeah, eight six. You mentioned names, just good. Yeah. Um, instead of two two seven two, and the reason for the increase is the I didn't realise they charge for delivery, which the other um, companies don't. <laughs> they can't write. They can't spell Hilton. Plus, they're charging us for each bet anchor kit, which. Right. 
are £49 for the first one because you've got the tools, reusable tools, but each anchor kit is £34 and we require six of those. So, mm -hmm. um, so it's £400. Yeah, so it's. I don't know what the pine is, but I can't And that's a pine, yeah, that is a pine. Sorry. Are the benches all the same size for each company? Yeah, yeah they are. They're all, They're all six footish. Yeah. Um, so the quote one is the only one where they've both hard wood. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And three fixings. Um, the on quote one, they do make that with a back to the um, bench on the picnic table. Um, however. So I didn't, I didn't mm. put a picture of it, but I, I felt that might be quite dangerous with mm. maybe Six piece of wood that you don't. children climbing over mm. it or sitting, sitting on top of the back of the yeah. chair. Do you know what I mean? And then falling back. So yeah. 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 yeah, I didn't actually quote for that. They, they are more expensive. So I just felt the best sort of value for yeah. money is um, the supplier number one who will the anchor kits free of charge. Um, um, initially when we were looking at this, Ian made a comment, didn't you Ian? <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but you were concerned about having the chairs at the back end of the maze. Are you still concerned? There's a problem with something or other, but I forgot what it was. That's a ditch there. Are you happy with that? I can't remember what, what the issue was. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's more really usage. Yes. The, the fact that at the back of the maze, I can see them getting used a lot during the, the summer. I yes. wonder whether it's going to be just purely a summer usage and not much use during the, the winter months. But this is for the seats? The, the, seat, the seats, the benches. Yeah. Curved seats. Yeah, that would, that would mind yes. me. Yes. But I think that's caution. Okay. I think it's probably the case for most benches, benches, isn't it? Perhaps mm -hmm. seats. Yeah. yeah. But, but Particularly those. Yeah. And because I think they're away from the paths, that's all. Right. Yeah, yeah, we did talk about yeah, that, didn't we? we? Did. The, the thing that attracts people to this village is the maze, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I, I just think there isn't okay. anywhere for... So if you're bringing grandchildren and you've got elderly people, you know, you see them in half terms, don't you? Mm. Oh, let's go to Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a maze. Yes. <laughs> And then the children are running around the maze, and the grandparents are sort of leaning against that um, board. And I, I and I do just think, actually, you know, the maze is it, it is a historical, um, you know, monument. Yeah. So I just think, you know, a lot of people will probably want to sit there, and and I I think it's actually quite dangerous to put the benches. Facing yeah. the maze with with your back yeah, to the maze no, no, because otherwise if your children run behind so, them you're so not going to yeah. see them yeah. and also you know you want to sit with your back um, with with the green in front of you really don't you yeah, yeah. I mean these bench, benches have been on the agenda a fair few times mm -hmm. have you had any comments good. that's good so it's, it can't be surprised that's good um, and you were going to talk to WI about their bench yes. Any comment about that? Because at the moment that one's very close to the path, or the site is very close to the path. Yes. Um, come back to me with okay. that meeting next. Okay, so, but it's out there? Yes. So if we had the two benches behind the maze and we kept the WI bench where it is, would that be okay? If they said that's there yeah. for a reason? Yeah, that's would happen fine. Give or take. Yeah. And yeah. these anchor kits, are they just banging into the ground without concrete? Um, yes. It, so you can least get concrete is great. Soft ground kit and kits or hard ground. So if we soft, yeah. yeah. If we did want to cement them in, then mm. we could get you know, get quotes for cementing. But actually, um uh, I think probably be definitely behind the maze mm. is not really a place for any concrete. And I think if we if we get maybe Bernie or um, the bench maintenance mm -hmm. sort of program running, then the the grass cutting underneath and keeping around the benches should be yeah, um, just needs to kept be. up. Yeah. In there. So there shouldn't be a need for concreting. Good. So. Option one seems to be the best. Three. Well, they've quoted obviously just 
2,299, and I, I think you know um, they'll do free delivery. Um, it's two to three weeks delivery, and um, they seem to be very um, uh, very helpful. As a company. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is your discount for buying that second picky bench? Because I'm not too sure we know where, we know where that was going. I mean, if, if we bought one picky bench... Oh, that is a quote for two picky okay. benches. So, yeah. so, it wouldn't, so if we wanted to be had one, the price would be different, probably. Uh, I'm not just... No, I think the discount... Because I've asked all three companies yes. for discount. Right, and, right. Um, she said, I can give you a discount in the way of giving you the anchor kits free, which are worth okay. £69 pounds each. Okay. And then on so. top of that, we've got the cost of actually fixing it because we've had a quote for yeah. 150 and 130, so that would be. Yeah. Um, well, it's what's not. Yeah, that's just shoving the anchor kit. Bashing, bashing it in a bolt, yeah, I can't do that. It is really. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can't be paid. You can do it, but you can't yeah, I'll be paid. I'll do it for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say, it doesn't look technical, watching the video. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean that to be rude. I meant, I don't think we need a skilled, you know, bench fitter to do this that job. Seem I think quite it's, a price, I think it's just, but, um, I asked them both to quote for two to three hours work because I just thought, actually, to fix maybe um, eight or ten bench bench fixings mm -hmm. on both things would be eight, yeah, two to three hours work. The picnic bench might need mantling, might it? Does it come? No, it comes piece? ready assembled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, can't, you can't, you can't do mantling. You can't do mantling. I bet yeah. you did mantling. <laughs> I think it, it would really enhance, you know, the, the village, especially with you know the new paths. I think it would, uh, from really from the parishioners I've spoken to, and I have spoken to quite a few people uh, to see what their feelings are. I think you know there is a general feeling that there isn't enough places to sit, and you know just when we had that first out of sunny weather, yeah. there was lots yeah. of families out here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, are we getting general feedback? I mean, this is as per the map. So there's no yes. point to you because I just thought that's stupid, but this is the, the, the benches as per map, so we can't send any surprises. It's, what, yeah. it's what's been mentioned. Okay. Um, because item uh, 35.1 is to review bench options from fee suppliers and agree to purchase these. Am I getting the feeling that we're going for a, an option one? Well, I should just check. Financially, this wasn't allowed, but presume we've got reserves, we dip into this. And we have to make it up or consider how we're going to make it out in the future because obviously it's a, a price. We had put some money in for benches, but this is obviously beyond that. But we, we do have reserves um, and we don't know whether we're going to actually need bits and pieces. So I would suggest that we're probably okay. Yeah. Um, but something to consider for just spending money, we need to make sure we know where that's coming from. Oh, I um, would suggest. <laughs> going, going to the rich uncle. I think well, that's some. I, I, I feel it, well, okay. I, mean, but, uh, I just think uh, we should be responsible for our own kit. Really. Okay. And then also, they're very. So what they said at the annual meeting, yeah. the annual meeting they it's were saying that. It's only just a few. Yeah, they've got, yeah. yeah. In Italy. Let's save until we're desperate. Can't we do, ask them for 50%? Because then it looks well, like the parish council are putting 50% in. And no, I think it also looks like we're not looking after our camp. Well, we but have asked now on a couple of occasions in the recent year. So I just wonder if we this would look great. And we're hoping for money for the Well, if we've got the money, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we're putting money aside for future questions, yeah. yeah. so I think okay, then that's then. all public. So mm. yeah. 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 The, of, uh, the bench and the picture bench is great. All hardwood, that's great. I like the square format of the picture yeah. bench. Yeah, that's good. Um, what will get my vote is two benches and what two benches and one picture bench. Oh. <laughs> because yeah. I, I think that if you have two picture benches, there's an awful lot of furniture and it might start to crowd. 
The only That's problem really is worried. with that is it only seats eight people, and very often you see more than one family. So if you've got more than one family wanting to come down and have a picnic, you know, so, or was yeah, no, yeah. We've um, already added two more benches as well, so that's in addition. But in the same so area. that's. Yeah. I suppose. I think I, should be two. I thought aesthetically it would look yeah. better because there are more like area there. benches, weren't they? But the, that that big bench at the moment can probably seat, I don't know, twelve. The, the one that's there now. It's eight foot. That's a personal view. Yeah. 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 But I, I like, I like it. It's great. Yeah. Uh, but I think you've added quite a lot of extra seating just for the back of the maze there. Um, just flat to me, I wonder whether we should discuss it with the neighbour there. Because it's his garden right on the same side of the hedge. <coughs> well, it has been out there in terms of the map, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's a, the information's been there. It's almost and he's got quite a big hedge, hasn't he? Um, used to be, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we were to go for one bench, because I'm not entirely sure where the second bench is going. I appreciate it's going in that area, but I'm not too sure we know where exactly where it's going. What sort of extra cost would that be, do we know? Well, I mean, presumably you get, a, be you get a better price. I don't think you're getting more no. now, is it? No, we're not getting any discount for getting more than one bench. Okay, we're getting so we've discount got... on the so the bench anchor kits. Right. So if we found the bench, the the picky bench was really good, and we wanted another one, it'd be the same price as the first one. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. The okay. I mean, oh, uh, it is likely, but then yeah. we're going to have to then um, get get a second one fixed, and whether that will map. I'm a bit symmetrical and like matching, but if if the second one is a different colour and the first one's weathered slightly, you know, it's just I think it's going to look a bit odd. You know, this is a, a the showcase maze is a monument, isn't it? And it's a showcase. So I, I just think um, if we're going to get two, we need to get them at the same time. Is there any to position this side of the maze between the maze and the ditch? Hmm. Not this side, but between the ditch and the maze. <coughs> there is quite a lot of space. I mean, when we looked, there's quite, um, there's quite a lot of, I, don't, I didn't measure it, but there is quite a lot of <coughs> room before you get to the uh, ditch hmm. to put a bench. It's not going to be, hmm. you know, you're not going to fall back into the ditch. Sort of thing. Because the thing is, you're... you're Concerned about the existing benches and the trees, so that one's going to move slightly to avoid the tree. Yeah, so I'm not too sure where the third, second one's going to go. I hope we'll go in that area. Because mm. I was thinking if you wanted to have a second bench, putting it in underneath the walnuts would be less visually intrusive. But mm. you're saying that's not. Uh, I think you've got a decent water going to be the end of water, but that's not it. I think the whole idea was to try and be able to put the benches so it actually looked symmetrical and in, enhance the look of the maze. So you have both the, the, the curved benches at the back of the maze. I think it fit. I think it fit. I think and I think, think, think they would look... When we... When we yeah. 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 yeah, sorry, you're talking about the picnic ones. It's a picnic bench, it's a boring because it's oh, a visual part. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, no, no, I like the other one. Oh, oh, right, okay. The seats are sorry. fine. I'm like, seats are fine. I think we're doing it. Oh, sorry, we're talking... It's probably the benches, isn't it? Right, so let's just bring around the two curved benches you have on top of it. Right. Shall we vote right. for that to get that done? Well, we well, need to well. vote for all of it. So all right, it's one thing. If you only have one curved bench, you need two curved benches. By the figures you gave earlier, that's £1,700 as opposed to £2,300. It's significant savings now. It's mm -hmm. £700 pound per picnic bench. Look, mate, isn't it? That's twice the price of a seat. The picnic bench is $700. So where are we on the map, where the current bench is... Um, Which one? Picnic bench. Picnic, the picnic bench. Yes, you're going to move that slightly there is, the tree. There is quite... A, when we had a look, 
There is there are gaps either side of that picnic bench with no tree cover. Okay. Mm. But then you're encroaching on the WI bench, aren't you potentially? I mean, what did you actually ask for WI? Would they mind if it moved? Yeah. Okay. But maybe <coughs> where to? They haven't had, no, I said we're reviewing yeah. the benches and yeah. would you mind if we moved them? I do think it's correct. Quite a lot of pairs. I understand yeah. the concern yeah. I like pairs, I think it becomes more useful than pairs. Yes. I'm also thinking longer term, mm -hmm. this might be out of context, but you know, I can think if we do something with the pavilion, it becomes more of a useful space. Mm -hmm. and, you know, People who start doing tea and coffee actually, more sitting there out there would be good. You know, actually, if you've got to and they've got to kind of be all, you could have one there or and one across or both there. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's my idea. I think it does, a pair makes it more of a, like we're, we're trying to change this into an area where people will come for a picnic. Because you meet people there. Mm -hmm. um, There's a lot of families after school, you see the school children going to the maze and, and the green after school, don't you? So, you know, if you've got, if you've got several families, it, I just think two picnic benches would actually, I think it would look more balanced and also it would, I think they would be used, they'd be definitely used during the summer. What, what happens if the WI don't want their bench to move? Because it would be a bit, a bit crowded in that area, wouldn't it? Is that, is that an issue? It's been there a long time, so I'm just thinking that would be I don't think it'll, um, I don't think it will be that crowded. Okay. Because there's quite a bit of, so if, well if they want their bench there, we could move the second picnic bench up, ne up nearer to the, um, want a better description, where, you know, um, nearer to the, Home oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, away, yeah. Not on that mm -hmm. side, but on Away that way, yes. Well, I mean, Near that way. If it's under the shade, would it make any sense? No. You've got one bench in the shade and one bench not. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, it's that's watch. true, actually, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, am I getting the impression that the two benches of both is preferred? I think that's what I think. Yeah. Are you in? I mean, are you? I know. Are The. The, Anything to do to reassure you? The, the room has. So we're talking at the back of the. No, no, we're, talk, we're, we're talking about <laughs> how many family picnic beds. Sorry, we've moved on to the picnic beds. I think we're all in agreement over the benches behind the mat. The seating is, is, is good, we haven't got a problem there. It's just about the, the number of picnic benches and where we put them. Yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, uh, the fact that we're putting in posts without concrete reassures me. Yeah. Rob's just said he's happy to have a tree in the shade under under one of them. Yeah, we could have one. Under so you have one in the sun, one in the shade. Yeah, I think yeah, it'd be less intrusive. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be yeah. claiming that I'm being interested all the time. Still but got that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the alternative is we go for one. We, we, we go two and one. But whether I mean, did you say the double eye bench? Which one do you mean? That's the one that isn't there, but where the stones are. The one that's nearest the pavement. Ah, so right. if that goes in there, then it is going to look really crowded. Yes. It's yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if that wasn't going to go in, then I'd feel more comfortable. Yeah. Especially if one of the big benches could go slightly back towards the yeah. one yeah. of the trees. Well, let's just say that we're happy to purchase these. Yeah. Okay. We then need to discuss the location. Let them out. Like we move them around. Yeah, we don't have to head with it. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Get together for a nice sunny day. Yeah. Cold drink. Yeah. And by then the WR will have met and I'll We do need to make sure they're happy to. I think it's been missing two years. So, I need to put in a proposal. So, the proposal is that we buy, we go in accordance with option one, which is two curved benches, seats, and two. Uh, square, teak, whatever it is. Yeah, square oh, picnic bench. So are we happy with that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Always in favour? Okay. okay. And then we'll review where we're going to put them. Now, item number 35.2 is against the Labour quotes. Um, I don't think we need to agree on that moment because I think the general consensus was it's, it's a bit pricey. Let's see, Let's see how complicated it is. We'll all watch the video. Yeah. It's <laughs> on worst case. See, 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 see what the key of the cake we're doing. Um, <laughs> so we're going to get the fitting kits free. Um, um, and I'll be happy with that. Good, thank you. Okay, so 35.3.
This is to read later for the remaining entries to be repaired by volunteers. Now, just to be sure, what this actually involves is Ian was going to get the wood, I believe. I've got a couple of quotes. Yes, but obviously, it was presumably you've got the quotes in sufficient detail for the clerk to <coughs> do them. Or you could, you, could, you, could, you could work together. I could to pass those on, yes. Okay, so we're looking at just mending a few pieces of wood, the, the planks. There were, yeah. there were certain benches that you were planks doing. There was, so um? was quite a bit of work involved. But, but not dangerous work. No. We're talking about planks that come in the right size, Absolutely. so no saws. Yeah. And we need to um, drill holes for bolts. That's right. And the bolts would be right length, so they wouldn't be soaring up either. So, so in terms of what sort of level of volunteer we needed, <coughs> basically. Yeah, it would be a matter of taking some of the wood that's there currently mm -hmm. and cutting that yes. uh, in order to use it for um, securing underneath. Excellent. Recycling it. Mm. Oh, I like that bit. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. And there was a lot mm -hmm. of work just sort of cleaning the yeah, benches, yeah. like yeah. scrubbing them or yeah. sand. With a non dangerous substance. Sort of so, uh, yes, sugar soap. Sugar soap, well done. It does, it does, because the benches yeah. in the playground have done that way. Uh, drawing here, whatever did stuff, you whatever it's wrong seal, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you say. Oil. No, I said cheap oil, and Ian said no, no, no. no. You use Ron Seal hard. Yeah, yeah. Hard blend, blend. Oh yeah, hard blend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. So, um, but there's an awful lot of just clearing as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's all about making. We need to those benches can be brought back to life just with yeah. a bit of grass. Yeah, absolutely. Also, yeah. it's weird to look at because we definitely have a bush that wants a bench crisscross by the road. That's right. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. within this, we've yeah. got a bush. Yeah. So this really is it's down to the bench group to organise. I just got sitting in the bench. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not down to the agenda, but it's part of the... Yeah. Sorry, I'm... It was a great one at the last meeting. So... Can we arrange or suggest a date? Well, presumably it relies on the materials first of all. It could be quite a few dates, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do one. <laughs> if we do the easy one. I'm away that day. What about the first that? weekend in July? Well, let's just check the availability of materials and things. Because okay. we've got a grove working session and we've got benching. Yeah. Is there another grove working session? Grove working session? Grove? No. no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm going to have the date set. Or, or no, there's no dates there's no dates I'm aware of, but we do there's two things I'm aware of. We need to do some more work in the grove yeah. and we need to do the benches. Yeah. So if we can sort of get those nests and those notes out, maybe via our new media policy. So I think we can go now, I've got you blue one from that. So Since well, then, I can, do we need to ask a date when everybody's well, free? No, because we might not send our email coming. But bearing in mind the time we can Sorry? email. <coughs> Absolutely. Could we say at least a month away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you need to get that out. Lovely. Well, Saturday or Yeah. Okay. Right. Item number thirty-six. Set a date for bonfire night. Rob and Sharon. What do I do? Oh, uh, so Hanford is the second of um, November. Right. So I was going to propose that we go for the ninth. Okay. But I don't know how people feel about that. Fine, fine. Are you two still? I've got a notice you're not actually, you haven't actually got a, an appendix A fireworks. Maybe we should have. Appendix A. A, sorry, on the appendix, on the group of working, the list of working groups, we haven't got a fireworks. Yeah. So we might need to, because you two were sucked into it, weren't you? Mm. Yes, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's what we might mind, do we? Nights? Because we have complaints about or suggestions that it shouldn't be near half term. It's dark, it's colder. Yeah. Are we all in favour of the nights? Okay. <coughs> I'm proposing that it held on the 9th of November. Oh, Sharon's seconding second it. Are we all in favour? Yeah. Good. Um, okay. So we need to, a meeting, really, because right? you're stepping down. I am stepping down, yes. So we need yes. to okay. know what's involved and yeah. what. Well, we can. Planning, yeah. Yeah. So do the fireworks committee buy, you know, go ahead and buy the fireworks? Cause the well, that's going to be a separate issue, really. We need to on a separate agenda. 
you need um, to, or perhaps we can get, well, because the item just says set, set a, a note for bonfire night. Oh, so sorry. So we're wandering off. off board. But what I'll ask nicely is if Nicola gets hold of the, the group. I'm sorry. I'm finds out when we need to, <laughs> when we, the group is we need to find, no, we need to, there are people that do the fireworks, that buy the fireworks. We need to find out when we need to order them by. We have to order them. Yeah, but if it's after before our meeting, we need to find out from them when we need to order them by. Because it's a big spend, which isn't on here. So we have to have an EO. We have to have an EO to do it, because it's more than we can just say, go to the it. Exactly. It's, yeah, we need to just crack into that one to find out what's happening. That's to do before the next meeting and yeah. see what when we need to order by. So will you take that on and get back to? I'm going to ask Nicola nicely if we can sort out where it is. Yeah, we'll sort it out. The emails going across. It will need to be on the next agenda as to can we spend this much money yeah. or how much should we spend? Okay. So right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. uh, green open spaces. Yeah. So here, quick report. Well, quick report. I may be really, really good. Are you going to accept my report? That's the first thing. Uh, well, I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, you're going to hear it. Okay. Uh, right, very quickly then. Uh, pass, as you all know, is underway. Uh, I spoke to Craig this afternoon and um, he's hoping to have it done by the end of the week. Although we, are, we have got some wet weather. But wet weather's good because he's put some dust down on the path on top of the stone and the water will blind that and that will become hard crust which will help a lot. Um, did, did you check about the widths? Yeah, widths are okay, I think. I've measured them all, they are after the specification. So it's, it's a metre between the church and the cup? And yeah. I think you measured those all. Yeah, we did measure, um, we didn't measure all the way along, but yeah. <laughs> 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 it's coming with a metre bucket, so yeah. it can't go. Yeah. Well, it does look as wide as I thought it was. Oh, Moving on. Anyway, on. so the hard, the hard side. It's a stick. The gravel, he did put the pea gravel in a bit thick, um, which I spoke to him about, and he's, uh, he's skimmed that down. He's got enough in there, so when they pack down, it should go hard, and you get a nice dressing on it. So um, they will improve in the next uh, week or so, especially with some rain, and then, and then we'll get that. Are they being mechanically compacted or just... Sorry? Are they being mechanically compacted? They have been <laughs> mechanically compacted, but the, but the, um, the gravel's sitting yeah. on the top, yeah. and it's only supposed to be a thin layer. He yeah. did put it in about an inch thick, and it's yeah. gone down and stripped it back. So, And then the other thing he's going to do is he's going to tamper in all the grass edges. So they oh, okay. yeah. And put some grass in there. So hopefully that's just a nice new part. Um, very, very quickly, we had a parishioner who asked about planting. We seem to be cutting more trees down than we're planting. So just so all the councillors know what the, what's been going on, we've been conducting a sort of policy, if you like, for um, the last few years, where we've been thinning out some of the plantations which were put in 20, 30 years ago. And uh, where you've got trees that are competing with each other, and uh, some are doing better than others, then you we're thinning out the weaker ones, or the so they're not so crowded. So that's normal sort of management. So we have taken quite a few trees out. We have put some back, as you know, we've only found one place to have a new plantation, which is the northeast corner of the wilderness. Um, and in due course, in years to come, that will be thinning out in the same way. Um, so uh, just in case it's a big loss to the place. Uh, you know, at the horn beams, we took those down by the church uh, path there. Uh, that's really to get some more lighting there, and they will be replaced by new trees in autumn. You'll see that the memorial uh, pump has now been planted just next to the grove between here and the uh, church. Yeah, I saw it. Put in on the uh, side. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, another prisoner wrote in and asked about some trees in Westbrook cherry trees, because there's a, a nice group of trees there. One of them is looking very, very sick. It was on our radar. We did, in the tree survey we've done the last two years, two years. It's, it's come up. It's got a disease called... Um, Gamosis. Gamosis, thank you. Uh, so this tree... <laughs> will, this tree will die. And will not be places. So we probably will do something with it, hopefully in autumn or maybe in next year. 
unfortunately, there's a lot of cherry trees in that area. There's half a dozen I counted, and some of them are showing signs of the same disease. So they will, over the years, disappear. Um, Can you just ask about the homo? It, it yeah. looks quite diseased, does it? That's because you they notice? changed their leaves this time of year. Oh. They're strange that way. They're That's really odd. Really odd. Homo. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not just um, <coughs> we do change the leaves, but that one we've it. got uh, a European uh, leaf miner in it as well. Yeah, so the leaves, you look at the leaf, it's got little brown patches. Yeah. yeah. That's a leaf miner, but that won't kill the tree. Yeah. Ah, right. But when it's changed its leaves and it's got that, it doesn't look a bit shabby. Because so, uh, we've never been able to see the, the electric books through it normally, have we? Yeah. It's quite clean then. Yeah. That's fine. You will do that. Come, come back in three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I will. Well, and you'll never find the electric box again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been like the most a good haircut and a bad haircut. Oh, it's about three weeks. Oh. I'm, I'm the evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that, that's it, really, for me. Yeah. Good, okay. So, are you receiving that before? I'm prepared to receive it before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll second it. What was the name of Thank you, Rosh. Do you want to do that bit? Sweet, you want to leave them with other times. What's that? You want to write to Christians to enforce the yes. Yeah, but this is just, uh, again, when we had the issues with people mm -hmm. moaning, it's not supposed to be mailed, although I've had a quiet word, but we can't do that anymore. The clerk has got to be the, the voice, and therefore this is asking for the uh, council to delegate the clerk to. Um, Right to bid it to anybody that um, starts mowing when they're not supposed to. Um, I have a, 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 an interest in this one. Um, <laughs> can I suggest you have a chat? <laughs> well, in, in the past, when people have asked if they can mow a bit. That's the mark. way your interest works. <laughs> <laughs> when people have asked if they can mow a bit for um, access to the gate, but, uh, yes. it's never been an issue. And yes. so, We've got a collective memory of all, all, all those little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. but so, there has been an instant recently where somebody's quite dramatically transgressed, and mm -hmm. we want to have the ability to. I do feel it's, it is a little bit contentious, isn't it, around the village because there are some people who know the front, yeah. in front of their properties all the time, and and I, I'm, I'm just not sure it's. It, puts the parish council in good light well, if, yeah, they get yeah. letters from the parish council about it. I mean, the, the problem is that I know exactly the reason why it's done, but it's like the picture painting a thousand words, isn't it? People see there's a difference, and they don't read why there's a difference. Yeah. Well, I went to some trouble to explain this. I know exactly what I'm saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. There's a hay meadow, which yeah. we wanted yeah. to keep yeah. for really good reasons to do with yeah. flora and diversity yeah. and all that stuff. We want yes. to keep that as large and as healthy as we can. Yes. So when people mow into it without permission, yes. we need the parish council, I believe, yes. because yeah. we're yeah. we're trying to enforce a policy which has been agreed by everybody, mm -hmm. what we want to do, mm -hmm. um, supported by surveys and things that have been done in the past. Mm -hmm. So we, we do need to be able to do this, I think. There are other parts of the green which are mowed with the permission of the council, mm -hmm. because it's, it's land that can't be, you can't take a haircut, it's saving us the parish money because we don't have to pay um, our maintenance money to cut up yeah. those yeah. bits of grass. And where that's the case, when people are not happy to do it, it happened last year where somebody said, I don't want to do this anymore, it came back to the council and we then continued to mow it. Mm -hmm. There's been other parts of the green where, as you know, we've tried to turn to hay meadow, it didn't work because mm -hmm. it was either like too wet or whatever, we reverted mm -hmm. back. So every little bit is all understood. I don't see why it's controversial. Still, I didn't know it was coming up, and I'm still up really chat. If that's if that's okay. <laughs> um, do we make any money out of the hay? No. I think if there needs to be a chat, we need to have the yeah. chat. Yeah. I don't think we can have a little chat yeah. <laughs> outside the outside meeting. Sorry, Graham. Well, the, the, the decision is: Do we are we saying that we're no longer going to? Uh, 
China police what's happening out on that on that land. It's fundamentally what we're saying. Here. I think you should, and I don't see anything wrong with it. And I think if the rest of the parish council all agree that that's what we should do because of old surveys that's happened because of the fauna and flora, then fine. But if Sharon's saying there are pieces of common land that are getting mowed by the resident and it's looking incorrect, then we should discuss it. Well, there's nothing, I don't, nothing, I don't know. Has, nothing has changed on that score. Every, I'm not suggesting we're changing anything. We've, we've been presented to the council on a number of times what land has been done for, you know, what mowing is taking place on which land and who's doing it <coughs> and for what reason. So we're not changing any of that. All, we are, all I'm asking for really in this is to say, can we please have the ability to instruct our clerk that somebody digresses from that yeah. without the permission of the council to ask them politely not to do it. Um, but you were bringing something up and I, I was just sort of backing yeah, up. Yeah, I suppose um, from, from, you know, various people that have commented on it, it I think it is, I mean, I suppose as a parish council, if we wrote a, a polite letter, you know, it it's up to them whether they ignore it or acknowledge it, isn't it? So if someone kept repeatedly mowing outside their, you know... On land that doesn't belong to them. Yeah. yeah. Then... If somebody came and mowed your lawn, <laughs> maybe we have. <laughs> and kind of, you know, are we saying that we're going to take legal steps or something? Well, no, I don't think that's necessary, no. but it's... it's, it's do we just not let it happen? And then it gives you a bit more... I don't see why we done. wouldn't tell. So in the same way as if people park on the green, the parish council yeah. like to them or put them to them, or if they, you know, anything else that's on the parish council, then we would request, politely request mm -hmm. that they ask the parish council before doing so, or... I think the only thing I can see is slightly contentious is the fact that we're allowing some people to do it and others not. Yeah. And, you know, <clears throat> while we've got a plan, People aren't aware of that. Mm -hmm. When it's happened, I've gone and spoken to it and yeah. talked through why and what the reasons are. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it, the, the issue really is the hay meadow, is that we want, don't want that chewed up by mowing because we want to, that's not quite specific mm -hmm. area which has all sorts of benefits and we just want to keep control of that. Yeah. There are other bits, little corners of bits and pieces which it's unfeasible to put hay there. Yeah. So somebody's got to mow it. Yeah. And we do a lot of mowing, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think that's the, the point that needs to be clarified. Yeah. If anybody's got an issue, Sharon, they can come and talk to yeah. anybody. Yeah. You know, it's all out there, it's all public information. So have we got a map or a plan that shows which bits are allowed to be mowed and which bits are hay This one. That has got all the areas. The and, and, oh. the, and we're sticking to that. Yeah. So yeah. That shows the hay meadows, is it? That's an old version, actually, but right. the current yeah. version of that has got yeah. more. So I think if that goes with the letter, yeah. so people understand that yeah, this is the bit we're trying to test. So, so that, my worry is, again, without knowing the conversations you've had, and this is why it's good yeah. documented, but I think without knowing that, mm. you know, someone might see it, and you can imagine how that gets, then gets communicated to, oh, I'm not allowed to come, no mind, but Joe Blox knows it. So. This bit needs to be protected, whatever you do, don't do this. Yes. If other people want to do it, they can do it on the riser or the other things we've said in the past. I think that, that, that this bit needs to be protected, is, is, and that's made clear, that's the reason I think that's fine. We've also got the botanical survey that we speak of here, uh, which is a you know, sort of 40 page booklet. And um, we do have copies of that which we can show people with the. Look at that, is that on the website? The. Um, uh, yes, it's definitely. How is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, lo the local bank. Oh, well. yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it's an interesting document if you're a bit short of it. We can do it again. <laughs> we can get volunteers to go for permission again. Oh, okay, well, right. I'm getting I'll take I'm getting in <laughs> Buzz. Okay. Um, so the. Um, the request or the proposal was to delegate to the clerk to write to Christians to enforce value of work. Can I Not have... all Christians. No, the, the ones who need to. Can I have a proposal? <coughs> well, I'll propose a, a seconder. I'll second that. Yeah. Just so I'm clear, the comment I made about the explanation of the map to yeah. explain it, that goes with it, right? 
that part of this proposal? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Presumably you two will talk yeah, about that. Yeah. Okay. So all's in favour? Okay, um, and item 37.3, to resolve, um, resolve, resolve to fill the tree yeah. at the edge of the green, so which edge? It's uh, opposite um, the green edge house. There's a tree that's fallen into another tree. Oh, okay. It's near where, it's a neighbour to the one that we took down in some hurry. Uh, oh, it's on the deep side. It's on this. It's growing outside of the north side. And uh, I've seen it. Ian's had a look at it. We've had a um, tree surgeon go and have a look at it. Um, I think we've, we all feel that it's something that we'll definitely deal with because it's a very heavy tree leaning on a small tree. Okay. But <laughs> but it's not an, an, it's not an emergency. Not thing. An emergency. Right. An emergency yes, so. Is it on the other side of the ditch? Because there was a question mark about who owned that tree, wasn't it? Cut down it's on the side of the ditch which. According to our <coughs> land registry title in the French Council. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, it's fine. If, it, if that's the case, then that's, that's fine. Yeah. Is that um, the one that the quote came through? It's very late. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's, it's not a real quote. It's not a real quote. It's not a lot of money. Yeah. Well, the one you took down was £800. Yeah, so I think it was £800. I think it was £800 or £800. So these are big trees, then? Uh, it's the one that's leaning, the heavier of the trees, is not as big as the one to about. Okay, so we should be able to knock them down a bit. But I'm guessing we get close anyway, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. 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 this isn't like that. Yeah. So we're not asking for permission to go and spend the money to do it. No. no. Right. But it's, it's on the list and we yeah. need to put yeah. on yeah. it. Because it's not urgent, the, the guy said it wasn't urgent, he thought the other yeah. tree was supported. Yeah. Yeah. So we, do we need to we need to resolve that? So the proposal is that we remove the dead tree and here's the green. Can I have a proposal? Do you second it there? Well, we have got a motion here. Okay, well, aren't we resolving? Do we need to have a vote? Or just um, move, move on forward? I think it's in the range, really. Okay. It's, it's well, it, yes, clock. The reason yes. why it's on here, I think it's because it looks like it's a bit of an emergency. No, okay, it's so it's just to let people know that we've, yeah. we've got our thing. Before we might have to react. Like okay. Yeah. So. The only way that looks good is if we just can't try this issue. Okay, fine. Good. Okay, then, so move on there. Media Group, to approve the publicity scheme for the playground project. Now, I've seen your quote. I've seen your quote. I've got to remember my lines. <laughs> <laughs> so well those, those ones were just templates. Really, I know, isn't it? that's fine. Yeah, I've seen that. But, <laughs> and we've all seen the publicity that's going to go to the various places at the various times. So that are we going to send that on to? So I Ren? have to. If this is approved, I have to send it to Ren, um, and that's this is the last document. And then just letting them know how many claims we're going to make, and then they will issue the funding when we keep the claims. But Laura and Dal got to stop because we might be moving the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what we? Well, that's what the conversation was earlier. Uh -huh. We've got to go and now ask the village where do they want the no, playground? No, 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 we're looking at. <laughs> we're looking at. We're we? looking at. Yes, and oh, after. Oh, okay. All know. right. I really thought we were looking at that saying, do we move the playground as well? Oh, we can stop this because of that. Oh, okay. Gosh. Um, so, okay, so after this, <laughs> this and then those things, then the, fun, the funding agreement will be released. And then once that's signed, that's when we can officially advertise funding. And we have to send out, we are proposing we send out this week's press release. Mm -hmm. The press releases I've put in the appendixes were just templates. So just, yes. And they came from templates from then. I yes. just added our own bits. But yes. we have to send each one of those for approval before they get sent out as well. And we discussed this at the media group. I came to the media group meeting um, mm -hmm. and then drew this plan up following that meeting. So I propose so. that we send this to Ren. After meeting, unless anyone has any objections. Have you all seen that? I mean, my only concern is Santa Hans Post, really, I suppose. So, I don't want to too so much. The leaflet's so the, the got to go to Hans Post for, for maximum broadcast. Mm. I mean, it doesn't have to, that's just what we discussed at the media group. Yeah. As a, as advertising too far and wide because of parking issues, but. I mean, we're not advertising it as a come and use it, we're just a good use it's just a new yeah. design to just and again, that I presume you're being like that because it's going to be raw. Yeah, okay. That's, that's what we felt, it needs to be in some newspaper and it was better right. than the Cambridge Evening News. Yeah. Okay, are you all happy that you've seen it and you're all 
Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a draft, isn't it? So they, they'll probably come back and they want some different words, perhaps, but the different things will say, haven't they? So I can finalise the draft and send it to them from this meeting. We need the proposal, yes. I've got uh, Nora proposes that publicity files approved and then sent to Ren. I'll second that. Okay, all in favour? Okay, that's good, thank you. Nora, forget that. Unanimous? Yeah, well done, Nora. Yeah, can we just admit it, that, that Nora's, you know, you've had to do a lot of work to get that into, in that quickly, haven't you? I mean, you, well, you all have. No, Laura's done a lot. The, 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 the financial, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> 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 right, 38.2, <coughs> well, there's worse to come. To approve the media policy. Now, the media group um, met recently, and they came up with a policy. Um, there's a lot to go through. Can I propose we put this through to the next meeting? Well, everyone's read it. It should be pretty simple. There's yeah. people happy with the policy. Um, we've spent time on it, so I guess if you're not happy, say otherwise let's approve it and move on. It was yeah. discussed quite in depth at the quick. media group meeting. Let's yeah. approve it and move on. Well, first of all, you at the... Oh, yes. Radio. So, who's at the media group? Everyone apart from Ian and yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm right. Right. And presumably we can it's a policy, so it's a live document. So it's a live document, so we can review. Yeah, yeah. As a group, you're all happy with. We spent a considerable amount of time amalgamating other. Uh, you know, Nicola had done a great job of printing yeah. off other yeah. parish council policies, yeah. which we then amalgamated. Yes, by saying it is a big change, so um, yeah. or a move on. So I just want to ensure that we're all happy. So, so we propose that the media group document is accepted. I propose that. I'll second it. Okay, shall I second it? All in favour? To be reviewed as and when? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Resolve to create a Facebook page for Hilton Parish Council. Now, this was mentioned within the media policy group. Yeah. Does that need to be discussed? In fact, it's separately. Is that a bit more contentious? Because it's not well, within them. So, truthfully, I don't think we think it's that contentious. So, the media we met with some traditional people. <coughs> um, and as part of that policy, we were discussing kind of how we communicate with people. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we believe, or what the general consensus was, actually we could use Facebook as a communication tool, really kind of effectively kind of mirror some information to the website. We keep it closed off initially, and our policy covers media and the use of social media, so it, yes. it's policy is future proof for that. But effectively what we're suggesting is set up a village Facebook page mm -hmm. where we could communicate things like agendas, meetings, when we're doing things in the future, we can have polls if we wanted them and have online polls. Mm -hmm. we, we said we'd keep it closed off the comments because we didn't want it to become a public discussion forum or debate. Yeah. So initially, which is, other yeah. people haven't done that, but we said we would do that. Mm -hmm. We could also say that while people could send emails into that, it wouldn't be able to put a Yeah, so that, that wouldn't be. If you put a comment on there that says, yeah. you know, you, you might not get a response. Yes. So we we may choose oh. It's not a legitimate form of communication. Yeah. So, so I think the general view was we think it'd be quite a good tool because yes. unlike the website actually the tool where people can go and access information, Facebook pushes information to you. Yes, right, you the parishioners yeah. could choose to to follow the mm. you set up the business, the the, the page. Mm. And therefore if we put updates on it, we could push to them so there were meetings or bits of information they would they would receive it as opposed to happen where they live. Yes. So you know, I think the general view was if you can use a tool in that way, it's a good tool to have as a and enable us to connect with our parishioners. Yeah. So you're saying you met separately? We met part of this meeting. Okay. We discussed it. So I'm just thinking it's extra work for. Oh, so you're happy. And it's it should well, we narrowed it down to about 10, 15 minutes a week, really, probably. Okay, that's fine. So are we all in favour of... Yeah, the I mean, I was uh, relatively sceptical when we started. Yeah, that was. Pretty, um, at least we thought we get where we got to. Eager, in fact, in my case, so yeah. But, but as it's a, you know, people can't uh, won't be able to access um, and then we can develop it if, if um, needs be, because it works very well with Facebook, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So the proposal is that we open up a Facebook page for the Parish Council. I'll close that. I'll second that. Do you second it? All in favour? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Uh, 
something to know nobody misses, the administration of the website is now passing to Nicola. In yes, that was in there. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So, right. Okay. But also on that, <coughs> we agreed that you would still have. Um, so, if there's anything structural that needs to go to the site, then yeah. I'm still there. Or anything about us. Right, it gets complicated now. So there's items, items 39 and 40. <coughs> items 39 and 40 are going to be in closed session because they involve finances uh, and the members of the public will be asked to leave. Um, but to help things along, I'm going to propose that we do receive financial report um, and council's items and then I will ask parishioners to leave uh, and we'll do the closed session. Can we carry on with that? Yeah, okay. Okay. So, um, received financial report, which is this is the financial report that came late. Uh, yeah, okay. So, the financial report we've had. It's as at the end of April because I don't have the main bank statement yet. Yeah. But uh, based on the budget you agreed earlier, I've done your budget analysis and you've also got the management accounts uh, in comparison with this year to the previous two. Okay, budget, budget analysis. Budget analysis. Based on what we yes. currently spend and uh, what percentage of the budget we've spent so far, yeah. and a projected spend based on what invoices I know are in the system, yes. um, and a percentage of budget that I expect to spend. Right, so it's all on there. Um, are you all happy with that? Anything yeah. that you've got problems with? Yes? Okay. Um, do we have Sharon come back? No, you can resolve it, but she's... Um, Sharon, no pressure. Sorry. We, we have had a budget analysis, um, and this is how we've spent our money to date as of April 2019. Um, it was sent out today, was it? Um, so we're happy with that. I think the rest of the council are. Well. So the proposal is we accept that as a, re as a report. Sorry, yes. So I'm going to propose that we receive the financial report. Will you be doing this every month now? Well, if I get the idea, the idea is that we will get this every month. That's so you're not approving it for the year to come. This is an ongoing um, idea, sir, or requirement. Yeah. So, proposer, yourself, second. Oh, one of you. Here. What was the favour? Right. Thank you. Okay. Um, to approve the payments. Um, yeah. A couple. Of, well, eight one wasn't it? Um, so you, you've got the, uh, the payments, authorised payments of accounts, uh, a late one came in for John who's done some, a couple of grass cuttings on the green, on the, um, the plate cricket pitch. So he takes over from Mr. Macon at £45 a cut, so I mean this would be on sporting documents I think wouldn't it, in the years to come. So as, as John with the standard standing order, there's two cuts at 90, and it's higher <coughs> salaries for the clock, um, office equipment, postage, combination padlock, the builders have got a new padlock now, it's a combination. Uh, we've had a, uh, a spend on stationery for £232. Um, we've had, uh, the page has gone shooting past me, We've had total envelopes, we've had venue hire, so we had the billing for the, the village hall, the 325, and we've had the handyman send his uh, billing for April and May and mounting to £72.45. Uh, you've also seen, and the, the sporting documents also includes the invoices uh, from those suppliers and the employees, so if you're happy with that, um, I propose that we sign those off. Can I second that? Rob seconding that. That's fine, thank you very much. Um, okay, item 43 to the end of the Good luck. You want to pull the paper? Oh, Ian's looking at Are you going to cover up agenda item 40, which is not in closed session, is it? It is in closed session, yes. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So I say, oh, I'm going to do 40, 43 now, and then it'll be a closed session. Um, item 43, council's items. Karen. Oh, sorry, oh, Sarah. No. Karen? 
Good. <laughs> That's a bit too quick. I was hoping. No. no. Rob, Laura, I've got one, but. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of things that we need to send a clerk on to. Uh, they came in late, so there's a request for £80 worth of training. Um, there's two conferences to send. Yeah, so there's a, 50, there's a £50 pound Kapow and a £30 pound forum in, in Lincoln. It's all about the training. It is £80. Pounds, but you can't approve it, so I shall do it out of the chairman's funds. So it's for information, so more training. So good on the clerk for doing all this training. Good, so thank you very much for that. Um, I'm going to have to ask the parishioners to now leave. You are welcome to come back to the close of the meeting, but the, the, meeting, the meeting is going to be private for discussing finances. So thank you for bearing with us.